Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Getting started with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend £4.95 with us, you'll get a free welcome pack which contains everything you need to get started. Including step-by-step -step project cards and a DVD which will give you the chance to be able to create an arrangement of different items of jewellery. You'll also get a manual which will help to familiarise you with all the items you're going to be creating and all the tools you're going to need to do so. Plus you'll also get a free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. Getting started with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Hello and welcome back. It is The Late Show. I'm Laura Delou and I'm joined for the first time I've ever worked with her. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Nadia! Oh, that was good. I could never do that. It's, it's going to happen every single time now. <laughs> it's that Nadia! Like Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, am I right in thinking you've flown all the way over from Edinburgh? I have, yeah. It's our first time together, isn't it? I know. It's so exciting. I'm feeling very excited and also something. feeling very honoured that you've flown oh, all the way goodness, over. Oh, How no. long is the flight? The whole journey takes about five hours. 
Wow. Just depend, it can be a bit shorter, just depending if the flight is quick. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, generally about five hours. Mm. Isn't it kind of like up and then straight back down again? Uh, yeah, it's not long. I mean, you're probably on the plane for about an hour or so, maximum 50 minutes. Yeah, it's very quick. Yeah, It's just a waiting around that yeah. takes a long time because you have to be there a bit early, you know, to catch yeah. a in case there's a queue. So, yeah. yeah, it's all worth it. Yes, it absolutely is. Well, thank you for joining us today. It's going to be amazing. So excited, it is going to be amazing. I love the teddy bear. Oh, he was so much fun to make. He He's been having a good time in the studio the whole day already. So. I know. Yeah. And he's joined by the gorgeous dragon. I know, he's, become, he's come to visit his um, I don't know, little big brother. Yeah, it, looks, it almost looks like the dragon is sort of defending him already. He's standing there. Yeah, it's like, don't touch. Yeah, get behind me. Stop. I'll protect you. <laughs> I will protect you. It is going to be a fantastic show tonight. And we have, of course, got the two kits coming up, which you're going to absolutely love. Wait until you see the sunstone. Isn't it just the sunstone best? was something out of this world. I know. I and actually questioned it because it looks yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's goldstone. So goldstone is a, a man-made glass, basically. And they normally put loads and loads and loads of little copper bits in it. And it's really uniform and it just has so much sparkle. This sunstone is that good. I thought it was actually going to be the goldstone. So I'm blown away by it you're going to love it and it is actually part of the kit so it's going to be amazing i, know, I was very spoiled i mean i unpacked and i got all the seat beads and i got all the cords and then and there was a little sash and i thought oh what's that i had a look and it was like oh, oh, oh. It was it is, absolutely it i mean you'll be amazed when you see it really you said you, you wanted to put it in silver didn't you I just i just wanted to put it in silver it had it just begs for that yeah it really does it was stunning it would look amazing mm. in silver oh stunning really that's it you're going to need to get hold of that they're fabulous now i'm going to bring to you i'm going to start off the show do you like a bit of Labradorite? Oh, who doesn't? It's kind of our favourite stone, isn't who it, really? Doesn't? Here? Oh, yeah, Labradorite. It is amazing. It's a really unusual gemstone, which I, I don't need to tell you that. You already know. Um, it, this one, in particular, is so pretty. You're actually getting this gorgeous, almost... Have you seen the, the British short-haired... Is it short blue? The cat. The Sheba cat. Oh, yes, for the, you mean the, yeah. the, the advert? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, is that kind That's of colour? That's the kind of colour that I'm seeing in this one. It's that almost like a velvety kind of smoothness to it. And then you get these flashes of blue. It's a shame we don't get cats like that. I know. You can, can flash different colours when you oh. they walk around the house, wouldn't it? It would be amazing. Sadly not, though. But at least we've got it with the lavender, right? So you've got these gorgeous blues coming through. You've got fabulous, almost a, a, almost a greeny grey, um, like the short hair blue. Love that colour. Love that quality. Perfect rounds as well. Six mils. And it's a massive strand. You're looking at 36 centimetres in length. There's no graduation on these ones, which I particularly like, because I do, like I said yesterday, sometimes with the graduation, I get a little bit scared that if I snip it, you, you know lose, how clumsy you lose I am. It, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, no, I do that as well. Then I lay them out very carefully and I make sure that I, I go in sequence there because I'm also like that. I'm just, they, they go everywhere. Yeah, no, everywhere. But they do, they do. I'm useless. I'm useless with things. £4.95 though. So if you have never used Labradorite, fantastic price point to join. In fact, if you've never used us before, fantastic price point to join because you will get, if it's the first purchase you've made with us, you will get your introductory folder, which will have all of the bits in there, including a DVD, some recipe cards. You're going to get three tools, which is the side cutter. Um, you're going to get the round nose pliers and the chain nose pliers as well. You're going to get your beading pack and your findings pack in there as well. So every single thing you could possibly want provided your order is four pounds 95 or more which this is so perfect introductory strand to get your introductory pack um, all you need to do is dial the number at the bottom of the screen or of course you've got the website there as well which is all the w's jewelrymaker.com dot com dot com um, which one do you, which one do you prefer ringing in or ringing in yeah when you when you place an order I like to be online. Do you? Yeah, I like because I get to see the price first. Yeah. See, I like that. See, I kind of... But ringing in is also quite cool. You get to speak to a person. Yeah. It just depends what you prefer, really, isn't it? It depends on my mood. Sometimes I don't like talking to people. Let's be generally... No, I'm, I'm lying. I do like to speak, speak to people. But when I, like, when I shop online, it's actually much more yeah. fun to just add stuff to your yeah, basket yeah. and then you can, you know, pick some more, add more to your basket, take some out. So you don't yeah. have to ring in every time. So, yeah. 
yeah. I do it online. I like shopping online. Yeah. I don't I, sometimes I do like talking to people over the phone, but I won't order like takeaway. I prefer it online. Oh, I like that online. And I won't answer the door. You won't answer the door. I don't know. I get really nervous. <laughs> and I, there's no reason for it. I'm like, Ooh. do you need one of those bells that with a camera so you can see yeah. from your phone? Just post it to the letterbox, please. <laughs> if it's pizza a pizza, the yeah. box. <laughs> it's a pizza. Or you do like a cat door for your takeout food or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just it's. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I talk to people all the time, but sometimes I get really nervous. And there we are. Clearly, the pizza pizza guy gets me nervous. Maybe it's too cute or something, I don't know. See? I think it's more the guilt that I'm ordering pizza. Oh, right. <laughs> I think that is it. It's, oh, it's the, what is that? What have you got? I have a very bizarre beetle, which will not be arriving to you um, with your beads, but it does look quite cute. Here we are. We've got silver plated brass stardust beads. With your little friend there. Oh, these are absolutely gorgeous. I can't see the beetle. Where's oh, yeah, there. There. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to move then. <laughs> I was wondering why you were jumping. I thought, I did that amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Have we got uh, tweezers? I can just move them out of the way for Here a moment. Are. Yeah, lovely. Thank you, my lovely. Just, just gently coax him. We are in the countryside after all, you know. We are. If I move these, you just want to be in the rondelles, don't you? They are sterling silver plated. They are, of course, stardust beads, which I absolutely adore. Oh, I love them as well. They're They're so they look great with fantastic. everything. So classy, honestly. Mm. Very bling. Would you move a little bit, please, little one? Do you want me to give you a hand? I'll no, I'm just trying to coax him. Take him away him. from you. He just, he wants, the, he wants the beads. He just wants the beads. Come on, you. Yeah, a little dish or something. So the nice thing about these is because they are brass. Oh, I know. Here, you can have this. There's a lot of them. Thank you, honey. There's a lot of them in the pack. You're getting 50 of them in a pack. They're lightweight. They're brilliant. They're just one of those things that you're going to want to use time and time and time again. Will you come on here, please? Thank you. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. What? Yep. There we go. There we go. Quite a cute one. Nice on my stuff. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't the hornet. Oh dear, that was. Why does it always happen when I'm here? That's because question. I'm with you. That's why. There we are. It's the two of us together because usually that happens to me. Does it? It does all the time. I'm all the, blame all you. the weird stuff. All the weird stuff. All the weird stuff. Everyone blames me for the weird stuff. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Well, oh, that'll be a show tonight. Mm. <laughs> Things normally jump off shelves when I'm here. Are you? Okay, that'll be interesting. Slightly unexplained things, yeah. Now, I'm going to bring to you, hopefully with no insects in tow. That was really bizarre. We've got some Pac-Man, also known as crimp covers. Really bright, really glossy. They're silver plated. It's crimp, copper crimp bead covers. Four mil, and you're getting 100 of them in the bag. Look how super glossy they are. In fact, these are the kind that I would, I'd quite like to just close them and use them as a spacer bead. Now, guess what? For 100, how many, how many do you think, how many pennies do you think we should be charging you? Well, what was the other one we just had? £2.95? It's going to be more than that for 100? <laughs> nah! Nah. Oh, wow. Why, why would we do that? Why would we bring you 50 of something and then bring you 100 of something and drop the price lower? Nope, nope. Hold on. Who's... <laughs> so, Becky's not actually in the room at this moment in time. Becky is normally my producer and I didn't even notice. She's, she's had to step out for a moment and the reason you've got the price on the screen there at £1.95 um, can we just have a gallery cam for a moment? We've got her sister in the chair instead, Kerry. Oh, Hello. we brewing at home tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this time you don't have Becky to thank, you've got Kerry to thank. £1.95 for a hundred. Um, Kerry says she's even better than Becky. 
I hope well, the Becky can't hear sure. that. <laughs> the price is, the price is. Yeah, that was a hint, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> there is now a sibling dispute. I know. <laughs> oh. oh dear. There is definitely sibling. Can we just have a gallery cam again? Becky is now back in the building. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit uncomfortable. Um, Kerry's arguing the fact that she's the better producer. Do you think you won that argument? Yeah. You definitely won that Becky argument. Said I was better than Becky. There we are. I think you're both equal. How dare I? I cannot, I cannot favour one over the other. Dynamic duo, hey? I know. The thing is, I didn't even realise it was not Becky in the chair. I know, I didn't. I had a sound just the same. But you do? Yeah. Didn't realise at all. You do, you do. You sound very, very similar. The thing similar. is, they're going to have to compete with each other and drop the prices more and more, you know? They have to swap yeah. each other out. I'm actually... I'm just, you do sound very much the, sim the, the similar. The so, same. The same, yeah. yeah. You are going to have to compete with each other. It's like the Williams sisters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the next one, my lovely? You do sound the same. You do sound the same. Right, I've got some tanzanite for you. 50 carats of tanzanite. We have established it's definitely Becky in the producer's seat at the moment. Oh, hello. I actually feel quite embarrassed that I didn't realise. So sorry, Carrie. I didn't, I didn't realise it was you. Take a look at these. Do you like Tanzanite? Say that again. Do you like Tanzanite? I love Tanzanite. I absolutely adore it. It was my first gemstone I ever bought in JM. Really? It was. Yeah, it was a strand of Tanzanite. No, actually it was ruby, but Tanzanite was my second. Yeah. It was, yeah. It's just stunning. Very, very unique, I think, in colour. Yeah. Can, yeah. Absolutely. That purple undertone. The nice thing about this is, well, it's been cut in such a way that some of them you see more of the purple, whereas normally you get a strand and it's either more of the blues coming through or more of the purples coming through. It's mm. either or, it's not both. Mm. On this one, you are getting both. So if you look along the strand, you've got slight, almost yellowy blues coming through. And then if you go further down along this side particularly, you can start seeing, I mean, this one's almost pink, isn't it? Yeah, it's different, different, many different hues in that strand, isn't yeah. it? Like greens almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. It's fab. I love the fact you've got that collection on there. Because, like I said, normally you just get one version of colour or another. But you are getting a whole selection on that. I'd actually want to separate them out. Would you keep them all together like that, or would you separate them I out? I quite so you've got... like how they graduate, I think. Yeah. That would be a strand that I'd like to just keep it like that. Um... To sit around a neckline, maybe put a, a row of pearls as well with oh. them, you know, just without, without actually separating them out. Have a row of tanzanite and then yeah. a row of pearls below. Yeah. Maybe with a little, one of our silver, sterling silver um, um, pendants, whatever we yeah, have. That would, have. that would look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, Keep yeah them that just would be like beautiful. That. Oh, I like the idea of that. I like them as earrings as well if they just, just hang. Yeah, but they're, well, they're easy to put on a, on a head pin and then put on a shepherd's hook, you know, yeah. standing like that, so definitely. See, that's the kind I, I tend to make just because they're, they're really easy. I think you can try and do some wine work. I'm going to show you how to make some macrame later. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier on yeah. and I, I kind of explain my jewellery making as um, compositing. <laughs> Attaching things to other things rather than actually... We all attach things to other things at various different levels, so you yeah. just... Um, yeah. You can try. Just tend to, I tend to stick with chain, which I really should I branch out. I've had a, go, a, had a go at wire work, and I need to get better. There's a lot of I need to get better. Yeah, I mean, we all have things we need to get better at. You just need to keep trying yeah. again. Yeah, so definitely you'll mm. improve really, really quickly. So I, I haven't tried working with chain. I need to have a look at your pieces. It's good. It's, it? it is good. It's not the chain mail, it's just chains. So it is literally just attaching things to so it. So you do like different body chains. Yeah, oh. different levels, different layers. Really nice as tassel earrings or if you have a couple hanging down. So it's, it's graduated like a, um, a waterfall effect. Oh, that's cool. So it's really, really mm. nice. Mm. Um, and then just like layering different things in between chains and things like that. So I, I tend to do 
do a lot I quite of that. Like that so. Because I like silver, so I tend to you work could a add those bit. definitely to something yes. like that. It looks stunning. Yeah, We've yeah. got some amazing chains as well. I think we had some today. Yeah. Um, on so go well with that. We had a sure. fabulous chain yesterday as well, which was really, really chunky for a silver chain. Really? Brilliant. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. £12.95 for this one. Now, I'm going to give you a heads up as to what's coming up. In about 12 minutes' time, we have got a micro-faceted bundle. It's the first time I've ever bought you a micro-faceted bundle, and you're basically getting... You know how you've, you've seen the micro-faceted gemstones? You normally get an option of one, don't you? So it's either spinel or it can sometimes be gone. It we've seen as well. Um, well, here you're going to get... Dare I say it? Topaz, yep, topaz, garnet, and what was the last one? And then it's spadella, isn't it? Topaz, garnet, and spadel, I believe. Um, and you're getting four, so I've named three gemstones, you will get two of the garnets, one set of the topaz, one set of the spinel, there's 20 in each, so you're getting 80 individual Facet, micro faceted, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's going to be the most amazing deal, especially when you see the prices. Um, so that's coming up in about 12 minutes' time. Now, ooh, ooh, ooh. how about. Ooh, this natural. Hmm. She's going to find out for me. Yay! Oh, natural, eh? Oh, natural. That's very really French. It's beautiful. I it's like the shapes. beautiful. Yeah. They are fabulous, aren't they? So we often see this particular gemstone in rounds. We've seen it in nuggets. We've seen it in um, almost square-like designs. But this is your beautiful little ovals. And look at how it just works so nicely with the actual pyrite inclusions it just i don't know it just almost brings them to life especially the way they just sit over the surface dare i say the word it's it it's almost feels christmasy are you saying it already Whew. i was looking at christmas books Where today Nev. yeah starting to plan the menu and everything <laughs> too early i know too early made yep. me happy though seven pounds 95 completely natural gorgeous blues whether I said the C word too early for you or not, it's still an amazing deal. It is fabulous though, isn't it? So you've got all of those beautiful pyrite. I like this one in particular. Because the pattern is different on each and every single one. It's got a lot of pyrite in it. Yeah. That's a nice thing because quite often you just get a lot more calcite coming through. That's lovely. I like the organic shape of them. Not, they're not only oval, yeah. but they've got different thicknesses to them as well. Yeah, they do. So this one, for example, you've got this lovely, almost a slender, just slither. And then you have the, the chunkiness mm. of that one there as well. Beautiful example. Love it. Next up. Spa. What do you find? Spa. Lots of sparkle. So, you have got as many different surfaces as we could possibly give you on this. It's a cluster. Oh, that is just stunning. It's like a disco ball in yeah, black, isn't it? Yeah. So, you have your aperture in the centre there. It's a cluster. Actually, that's really substantial for that to go through. Um, you've got a cluster of all these beautiful microfaceted spinels. That oh, just catch the light, They're just like a disco ball. That would look lovely with chain tassel actually coming out at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, chain tassel would be fabulous. Or even, oh, I'm just thinking of that sitting in the middle of a chain. Just, just that on its own. Yeah, oh, stunning. Actually reminds me of a raspberry. <laughs> For yes. some reason, doesn't it? Yeah, or a blackberry. What you call the blackberries? The, what are the yeah. black grape-like things? They look like the black. Yeah, they are blackberries. Yeah, blackberries. Yeah, the right word. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they're the ones that come out in sort of is it August, October time. Yeah, they usually it? grow in a forest on a very thorny bush. But yeah, that's blackberries. Is yeah. that blackberry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They grow here. 
Yeah. I, I used to go picking them. There's nothing wrong with that. I used to go picking them with my grand and she used yeah. to make jam out of them. Yeah. Best ever. I like blackberry and apple pie. Mmm. Mm, don't get me started. Yeah. <sighs> no, it's stunning that though. It is fabulous. You can't eat it, but you can do all sorts of nice things with it. No, don't, do not attempt to eat it. <laughs> Please do not attempt to eat it. It may look sumptuous and delicious, but it is not going to be fun to chew. Um, next up, I have got... Ooh! See, now Aww. I'm feeling this is almost like a grape leaf or a fig leaf. I'm going down the food, the food <laughs> road. It would look good with a blackberry. Yeah. Actually, quite a, could make a nice accent piece with that. Oh, that's lovely. Those two together. I had that leaf in rose quartz, that one. It's lovely to work with. Is it? Mm. It's got a nice big hole at the top. Yeah. So um, how have you used it in the design that you um, made? I made a macrame piece out of it. So I just used ah. a hole to, to um, thread quartz through and then yeah. attach quartz to the quartz going through the hole and then work my way up with macrame it's really easy it's ah. fun and it's a really quick piece to work with because all you need to do in essence is actually attach a yeah, jump yeah. ring and a chain so yeah that's brilliant this is one that i really really do really do like especially when have you seen it when it's in um do, 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 tiger's eye oh yeah mm. i've seen it it looks fabulous yeah. uh, love this one as well green adventuring um, 50 by 42 millimeters five pounds 95 mm. It would make a fabulous brooch, actually. It would, yeah. You yeah. could attach, I mean, there's enough space at the back to attach a, a pin to yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Quite easily with the E6000 glue that we have here on, the, on, on JM as well. Will that be strong enough to yeah, do it? Yeah, it would be strong enough, yeah. I mean, it's not like you're going to rip, you know, the brooch off every time you've used it, so it'd be definitely no. strong enough. E6000 is a really strong glue. You, people use it to fix their shoe soles with that, so... Yep, definitely yeah. works, then. Yep, definitely does. works, yeah. Anything that can stick a sole on. Yep. Especially the way I walk. <laughs> it's the amount of shoes I've gone through. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so, £5.95 for this one. It's very durable, as you can see. And it's brought us up to our star by time. <laughs> We love the microfaceted, don't we? Now, when I was looking, our, when I was looking, when I was looking at the BlackBerry, the cluster, I class that as microfaceted because of how small they were. Well, forget that for a moment because when we're talking microfaceted now, we're talking micro microfaceted. We're talking really, really delicate, really dainty, very beautiful to look at. We have a selection for you: twenty in a pack. I'm going to start off with the garnet. You actually want me to take these out? You do realise what happened with the opal yesterday? It's... okay. Did you ask what happened with the opal? The opal vanished, um, so I dropped two of the opals. We found one. The other one, I believe, is under the set somewhere. Oh. In other words, the kind of things I do. Yeah. 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 I'm not... Uh, I'm not the unclumsiest of people. I'm probably, probably the most clumsy person. But we're looking at two sets of garnet for you, and... I'm excited about this one. Let me just turn this around for a second. So we've got... Topaz. Blue Topaz. I've never been able to bring you blue topaz, which is microfaceted. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? If you're loving your seed beads, perfect to mingle in with the seed beads. So you've got two lots of garnet. This is the first lot. There's 20 in here. There's 20 of the topaz as well. I get it just for the topaz. Love that. We have seen the microfaceted spinel before. You will be getting 20 of those. Normally you have to get them separately. Now, how much do they normally go for separately for a pack of 20? It's about £4.95 a pack, isn't it? At the least. We have seen it slightly more than that. Um, has it gone for 6 95 before? 
6.95 it has gone for before. So you're looking at four lots of these. There's 20 of each, 20 of the spinel. Technically, there's 40 of the garnet. You're getting two lots of those. And you're getting 20 of the microfaceted topaz as well. Beautiful little selection. How easy would these be to actually mingle in with macrame or with seed beads? Oh, very easy. You just use them as you would with seed beads, basically. Yeah. Obviously, you want to position them somewhere they would be seen. You don't yeah. want them to be drowned out in other seeds because they're very special. So you need to make a design yeah. where they really stand out. Yeah. Yeah, but you can very easily incorporate them. I want the topaz. They're all beautiful. I can't decide. I like them all. They are all beautiful. Mm. I don't know why, but there's just, just I think it's because it's so icy in comparison to the others. In fact, the combination of those two the spinel and the topaz together. I think I would be really extravagant and actually bunch them together in one single bracelet design Ooh. to show them all off. I think they deserve that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just like have a cluster sitting on top of your wrist with all of them in yeah. a single strand and then kind of twist it together. I quite like the idea of using them in a ring so they've got a little bit of movement. Yeah, you could channel set them, I suppose, yeah. in, in a, some sort of um, infinity ring, perhaps. Oh, that'd be nice. Mm. Yeah, that'd be quite yeah. nice. That would be really nice. So, four of them, four different types. You've got garnet, garnet, I'll say four different types, garnet, garnet, spinel and topaz. You're normally looking at around £4.95 per pack. You're getting four packs for £9.95. That's a bargain. Incredible. That is a bargain. You think about how much effort and energy has gone into each and every single one of these because they are all faceted. If you get a microscope on these or a loop or a magnifying glass, you're going to be able to see so many different facets on these. Beautifully done. And that's what gives even more of that luster, especially on the um, spinel ones. Oh, I think you're going to love it. I do you think you're going to love it? The amount of sparkle you get. And with a garnet as well. Can you see the sparkle? That's fab. That is fab. Let me just grab one of the garnets for a moment because the garnets actually almost, the way they're catching the light, they almost look like they've got a coating on them. And what's the bedding? I'm not going to be able to get it to catch the light just as I'm seeing it. Oh, I've got the hole there. Oh dear. Oh! There goes one. I'm going to leave those there. Now, I've got for you some pink opal, which I think you're going to love. It's almost like a candy floss. Are you a pink lady? <laughs> am I? Am I a pink lady? Um, I do like certain pinks. I don't like uh, bright, bright, bright pinks. But yeah, I definitely have a penchant, shall we say, for certain types of pink, like salmon and oh, like a soft pink like this, like maybe. A soft pink like that. Yep. Soft pinks with graduated rounds like that. Yes. Yeah. This is the thing, not everyone's, a, not everyone's a pink person. I love pink, but if it's too bright, a bit too much. Yeah, I don't, I don't do the hot pink match unless I go to the beach or something. Yeah, then, then it's yeah. Okay. But uh, the subtle pinks like that, but just because you can use them in every day, you can, you know, go to the shops if you want in them, all of yeah. those are just too nice to actually just go shopping in them, is it? I'd, I'd be tempted to go shopping in them. Really? They're quite nice as a neck piece like that. They almost look like a, a massive strand of pearls, aren't they? Yeah. You can yeah, pearl knot those. Or oh, with red cord or something in between to show Ooh. them off. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. nice. That makes me think of holidays. Mm. Reds and pinks together. Does it? Yeah. It? Makes me think of the sea. I know it sounds silly because it's red and pink, but red and pink makes me think of the sea. Really? Yeah. Okay. Everybody's got their own visual clues, isn't yeah. it, for certain things? Uh, okay. I don't know why. It's, it's kind of, it's got the sort of flamingo kind of feel to it and then you've got the heat so it's like the sun okay it's it's a very abstract way of thinking but it it works in my head i it think works. it definitely works together it's lovely 
beautiful rounds, gorgeous quality, and it's £12.95. Which again is a fantastic price. Especially when you think about the fact you don't have to, I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually use all of these in one go. Separate them out if you want. I'd quite like the idea of wearing one as a ring. That'd be quite nice, actually. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I always like to put rounds in a ring anyway. Yeah. Um, they just work so well in that. I like the height of them. Yeah. I quite like, I, what I like about them is the different shapes. Yeah. The different sizes, rather. Yeah, Not shapes yeah. are the same, but the different sizes. They've got a lovely mottling colour to them as well. So some of them have got little little bits of um, it's almost like, a, almost like a marble effect to them. Now, oh! yeah, it is my favourite. I'm not supposed to have a favourite, but today I've, I love citrine anyway. It's one of my all time, all time, all time favourite stones. I've got a, a huge, unfortunately, a huge list of all time favourite stones, but citrine is right up there. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at these. Oh, wow. Aren't they mm. just amazing? Look how clear they are. And this is the first thing I always, always go for whenever I see these, these sort of styles. So we had a fantastic one yesterday with amethyst. But if you've got a style like this where you've got an open cut, it needs to have the clarity. And look at these. Not the easiest stone to get clarity in. I know when you think of quartz, you might possibly think about the, the clearer varieties, but they normally have so many different inclusions, from feather inclusions um, to sort of thin films as well in there. You've got such an incredible amount of clarity in these. It is magical, and I'd be so tempted. Or oh, earrings. Oh, yeah. And there's just so much you can do with them. Um, the shape mm. is so unique. I can definitely see them prong set Ooh. definitely prong set in either you know very small pendant with wire or yeah it should be 19 pounds 95 we're not going to stop there now it's not Kerry in the chair although I think Becky's going to be just as naughty as Kerry is 14 pounds 95 That is fabulous. Two, four, six, eight, ten of them on there as well. So if, if you did one as a pendant on a silver chain, just a jump ring to attach it, how much would you be charging for that? Probably about twenty pounds. Yeah. I think for at least if, if you know you have to you have to command the price for such a beautiful stone. So it's the quality it's of the stone, isn't it, that we're looking at? Yeah, no, it's stunning. Fourteen pounds ninety five for the entire strand. Earrings, pendant, prong set as a ring. If it's not prong, it's right. Prong is right. Yes. If it's not prong, it's right. The jokes are not going to get any better. Not at all. Aren't they stunning, though? I've got a piece of citrine that I love at home, which is a necklace. And it is so included, so shattered and included. But it sometimes gives it character. Though, yeah, it, it has. Like, it's, it's, it is amazing, and I won't get rid of it. But the clarity on this is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. If you can get a hold of it, do. Aren't they beautiful? Hold those lines, my lovelies. Now. Do, 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 do. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. Take a look at the shape of these. I am liking these. Sky blue appetite, always amazing anyway. They're cubes, like ice cubes. That's exactly what I thought. They just look like um, ice cubes with a touch of um, lime or whatever is mint. Yeah. Mint in them. Ooh. Makes me think of a mojitos. Yeah. Now I'm thinking holidays again. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm also thinking of Blue Lagoon. Oh, that, that was a blast from the past. That's, what was it, 70s, 80s? You're giving away our age. I know. Blue Lagoon. Mm. Go to a Blue Lagoon. 
They still do Blue Lagoon. I'm sure they still do Blue Lagoon cocktails. Oh, it's a they cocktail. Do, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about the movie. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the blast no. from the past no. a long time ago. Now I'm on about the, um, you mentioned mojitos. I thought, whoa, Blue Lagoon cocktail. Oh, I bet that's really nice. Mm. It's not as nice as it looks. Is it? I think it's lemonade, lemonade and the blue, how do you pronounce it? Is it Croatia? Croatia, okay. I don't know, I don't know how you say it. I don't know how you say it. Um, but you have got, you have got the most amazing selection of little cubes. Whether it looks like mojitos, whether it looks like your blue lagoon. Aren't they brilliant? Oh, they're stunning. Love them. 38 centimetre strand as well, so it's massive. What would you use these with? Um, I probably use them as spaces for some bigger rounds for a necklace. Oh, nice. um, I think that's what I would do, or just maybe again like the um, the special spinel and what we had earlier. We yes. cluster them on your wrist maybe to, to show them off because they're very unusual cut, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are brilliant. Yeah, or in an earring. They're very simple uh, on the shepherd's hook, so just as a simple stacked. Stack pendant. Yeah, that would look nice. Yeah. Mm. That would look nice. I'm liking the idea of it with the um, the spinel that you were talking about. Also with the stardust rondelles. Oh yeah. Yeah, twenty eight pounds ninety five. You'll need a small bit, don't you, really, with this one? What was the next one? Sorry, honey. Ooh. Sorry, I just got distracted by the pendant. Blue, go from one blue to another. Blue. So, these are almost like pebbles, aren't they? Lapis lazuli graduated plain rondelles. They're rather big, aren't they? Yeah, they are. What are the, um, what are the, Pile, you know the piles of stones when you're going rambling and things and they have the piles of stones. You mean bouldering, rambling? Um, so walk, just walking in the, in the mountains and the hills. They okay. sometimes leave little stacks of stones. What are they called? Oh, yeah. You mean the uh, sort of equilibrium stacks? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they're called, uh, but I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. So, and they just it seem like they shouldn't be standing the way yeah, they are, yeah, and yeah. yet they are. I, I sure would know. I don't know. Maybe... I think it's something with a K. I'm sure, sure I've heard it on here before, but it does, it does remind me of those. I'm sure you could stack those like that yeah. as well. See, that'd be really nice again as earrings. Yeah. Or again with the uh, team with the lapis we had earlier. Yeah. The, the sort of nugget plain rounds. We yes. had, not rounds, the uh, ovals. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd look really nice. Really would. £14.95 again for this one. Love the fact you've got more of the lighter blues coming through in this one, especially if you did mix it up with the ovals that we just had a little bit earlier on. Because they would look fabulous because of the richness of the pebbles that... The pebbles, see, I'm calling pebbles again. The richness of the ovals with those ones in comparison to these, which are more of almost a stone wash. Stone wash jeans colour. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because you've got more of the calcite coming through. Still getting loads and loads and loads of that fabulous pyrite. But you are getting the calcite in there as well, which is really lovely. I'm kind of thinking we should mix it with soda light. Mm. Or even jadeite. Thinking that combo might work. I think it pretty much everything you put with that would work well. Yeah, yeah, it would. It really would. Hold those lines on that one, my lovely. Right, what can I bring to you next? Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, getting distracted. See, this is the nice thing about working with gemstones. You get distracted. Everything sparkles at you. Well, sometimes it can be very distracting, you know. I mean, I was saying the other day, I was cleaning out my craft room and I really, oh, needed, I really needed something. And I was looking and I was going, oh, oh, I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, that's fantastic. And I, it took me forever to get to what I wanted. You lose hours, don't oh, you? Oh, you do. Time you do lose hours, very, yeah. very dangerous. So, yeah, you do get distracted very easily. I've not yet unpacked any of my jewellery making stuff since moving house. Have you not? There Ooh, is what we dangerous. lovingly call a black hole. 
This black hole is a room that has followed us from every house we've been in. There's always one. <laughs> yeah, I think every household has done. That's where the, that's where the teaspoons live. And that's the, where everything the, lives. Yeah, everything that you need in daily life and you only got one left in the house. Yeah, yeah. and you can never quite place your hand on it. Yeah, that's, that's the room that uh, it, all of my stuff seems to be in at the moment. Um, I want my room back. I want the jewellery making stuff back. 35 carats. I've still got to make a friend a uh, garnet necklace. Ooh. Her birthday was well, in January. Oh, you better unpack that room. I really do need to, <laughs> need to get started, don't I? Otherwise, it'll be this time, well, it'll be next year she'll get it. Well, it's January. We didn't say which January, did she? No, that's true. 35 carats of zircon is what we're looking at here. If you love sparkle, you're going to absolutely adore this. And this is by far one of the most sparkly I have seen zircon in ages. Look at that. That's not just luster you're seeing there. That's brilliance as well. And you are going to see fire because it's one of the most refractive gemstones. It's fabulous for it. It's doubly refractive as well, so you're going to see loads and loads of that incredible quality. Um, you're getting a massive strand of 18 centimetres, so crammed on as many as we possibly could. And it's £21.95. See, look, look how sparkly that is. It really is. Looks like diamonds. It does. Place. I was just thinking I'd be quite happy to use that instead of diamonds. And they've been around a lot longer than diamonds as well. Mm. That's the thing. Beginning of time. Well, even, even sooner than that, because time didn't really exist until we decided to create it. So create it. Make clocks. Um, right. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's probably going to open a whole can of worms, isn't it? Right. Tiger's eye. My cat bit me today. Aww. She's taking this playing thing a bit too far. I think they're testing their strength really at that age, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's only young. And she started off, she's a rescue cat, so she started off with the, the, the nice little play nip. Um, yeah. She's testing to see how fast she can go with you. Yeah. It's always me, though. She did go to nibble at my daughter's feet and I shouted at her. No! You can bite me, but not my child. That's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> Double whammy for me. Yeah, no. Won't let me bite your daughter, I'll bite you instead. Twice as hard. 150 carats of yellow tiger's eye. Thankfully, this one doesn't bite. This one doesn't bite at all. But you are getting that fantastic quality. Can you imagine if this were... A but tiger. They're quite big as well, aren't they? They are really, really substantial. And they're called tiger's eye because they have the chatoyancy, but also if you've ever looked a tiger in the eye, hopefully you haven't, hopefully just on a picture, um, they, it looks exactly like it. Clearly not faceted, the tiger's eye won't be. This tiger's so eye, colour. however, is. Eight millimetres in size, and it's under five pounds! Oh, wow. We need a sound effect, don't we? Under fire, whoop, whoop. That'll do. Yeah, that'll definitely do. Under five pounds for tiger's eye. That's amazing. <laughs> Think about this for a moment. If you take a look, there's certain certain designers who are using tiger's eye in their bracelets of around six mil. Normally putting a little silver adornment on the bracelet as well, just to stretchy. Way more than four pounds ninety five. Mm, of course, oh, it's yeah. because it's a name, but. Still, it's still the same gemstone, isn't it? It's still tiger's eye. Still tiger's eye. I love when I see bracelets like that, where you have just a single bead on a bit of leather cord. Oh, I absolutely adore that. Yeah, I really like it for men's designs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would wear that as well. So yeah, that's it. The nice thing about the, these stacking bracelets is you have got male and female wearing them. Yeah, I think with that you could. Um, I mean, you could imagine how much money you could make back on that strand if you just use one single one, and maybe perhaps these um, stardust spaces that we had. Yeah. If you use very fine leather cord and you yeah. thread, you loop it back through that sterling silver, yeah, um, and then put it on a clasp. Do you, can can you picture what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. That would look quite nice. So I you've think. got sort of two. So you've got um, you know like a, a link like that. Yeah, so yeah. you make a link and you loop the cord back, you double it over back yeah, yeah. towards 
the ends and then uh, loop those uh, stardust seed beads through. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, maybe yeah. I'll pick up a bit of cord. Um, so if you had your cord here like that, yeah, and you had the stardust seed beads that we had earlier, I'm and I'm just going to very, yeah. very quickly put this through and show you what I mean. Yeah. Because I'm probably rubbish on explaining. So you'd have your tiger's eye rosary linked like that. Ah, yes, 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 yes. And have it in the center. Then you have the stardust spacer. Yeah. Um, and then you would bring this end back and put a um, clasp on the end. Yeah. And just a tiger's eye in the center. That would be really mm -hmm. nice. Mm. That would be Very really nice. Very simple. And if you yeah. do just one, then you have a stand full of those. Um, you know, charge four five nine pounds for mm. them, three, four pounds each. That's, I mean, yeah. it was five pounds for the strand, wasn't it? So, mm. bargain, bargain. Now, I'm going to bring you a skipping rope. It's nearly as long as a skipping <laughs> rope, isn't it? I think for the two of us, it's a long enough skipping rope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it's a whole metre of rainbow moonstone, is what I'm giving you right now. A chance to get a hold of an entire metre of rainbow moonstone. Um, I'm laughing because I don't think I've ever seen a metre of rainbow moonstone. I've seen a metre of pearls. But not, not Moonstone. That's awesome. That is awesome. So with Moonstone, you do get that gorgeous, gorgeous blue coming through. Are these rounds? They are rounds. Oh, my word. They are rounds. I thought they were nuggets. They're rounds. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, they graduated playing rounds from three to five millimetres. And technically, a rain rainbow Moonstone, not Moonstone, but a rainbow Moonstone is, is actually um, a Labradorite. I know it's the same family, mm. but it's, it is technically a Labradorite. A white Labradorite. So there you go. But you will see different colours in there, not just the blue, um, because of that fact. Isn't it pretty? Now, it should be £14.95. It's going lower. Mm. An entire metre. Oh! <gasps> Eleven pounds ninety-five. For me, look how much there is on this. Look how much. Forever and ever and ever goes on. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, nearly. It's more than half your height. Probably more than half my height as well. How tall are you? Not very tall. One point six three. That's five foot three. You're still taller than me. Am I? Probably by not by, by an inch. Yeah, a tiny little tiny bit. Tiny little bit, mm. yeah. So if you want over a half mine and half Nadia's, Nadia, <laughs> oh, Nadia's height, this is what you need to get. This is what you need to get. Use it as a belt. Oh, you could in macram as well. I mean, it's oh. perfect if you're having a look at the dragon um, yes. and actually the teddy, you could use these for the centre belly and for the, the oh. head, uh, the eyes. If you bought a DVD, so that would be something that you could use that for. Yeah, and the price point as well is fantastic when you think about how much, how much you're actually getting. For £11.95, that is brilliant. Now, that brings us right up, believe it or not, to the end of the hour, which means it's star by time. It's going to be amazing. Are you ready for it? I love this stone. I love this stone. That's just a beach stone. It is. Personified, that's the word I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. It's one of those stones that you could just look at all day. It's brilliant. It's Laramont. As far as we know, it's one locational. From the Dominican Republic. Holiday stone! Holiday. It is exactly the sea personified, isn't it? The beach personified. Holiday personified. Mm. It's everything you could dream of. And if you look closely at each and every single one of these, it does look like you're standing on a cliff face, looking down at the ocean below, and you can see the surf just breaking against the rocks below. It, it does have that, it has that look. And that's because that colour has percolated through 
that sort of volcanic environment. Oh, is that how yeah, it percolates came? That's through. That's amazing. Yeah. So when the, when liquid comes into uh -huh. the area, it collects the the minerals from in in the surrounding, um, say, I want to say fabric, but in the surrounding rocks, and then it will settle in cracks and crevices in, in pectolite, basically, um, and it will form these particular gemstones, and the colour comes through because of that. Oh, that's so, so amazing to brilliant. know. When you look at these, you get a whole different uh, feel for the gemstone, mm. knowing how this happens, isn't it? Yeah. That's amazing. It's, it's fabulous. Yeah. And the different environments that stone... Because the same... An emerald can be created in different ways. So you have a hydrothermal way, but you can also find it in petrolite as well. So it does, it does have a big impact on the look of a gemstone. So the way this has been formed with that percolation through... Um, and I believe... I might be wrong on this one, but I believe it's cobalt... Uh -huh. That is the, the colouring agent of this particular stone. But it's just so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, however it's made, it's stunning. I would really think when I look is. at this, I'm sure it's been said millions of times before, but it's like standing in ankle-deep oh. water in the Maldives or, oh. you know, Mozambique or somewhere. Oh. It's very much collector stone as well very much collector's stone. You don't see it very often. If you went direct to the Dominican Republic on holiday and wanted to buy it over there, you are looking at a really substantial price point because, well, it's kind of a, a tourist trap, isn't it? If you think about it. Mm, yeah. You buy it from the location, you're going to have an extra premium because you're buying it from the location. It's like going to a hotel and buying something from a hotel or an airport. Oh, of course. It, it's a captive audience, isn't it? So here... We don't get it very often, unfortunately. I would love to be able to bring this to you all the time. It's very special. It's a very unique stone. And we're about to give you a chance to own 67 carats of it. They are absolutely exquisite. And we're about to give this strand to you at the lowest ever price point. It's only ever seen before at £34.95, except for today. Well, we're taking it to twenty-eight pounds ninety-five. How many do we have? We have seventy-five chances for you. It's not going to be enough. It's a brilliant opportunity. It's a great quantity, but it's not going to be enough. I love the fact that tassels are the same colour. Mm. Do you know how many tassels? people I've seen w with tassel earrings coming here today? They're uh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So you can just, every single piece of the strand you can incorporate and imagine a pair of tassel earrings with those added. And to technically, you're getting the tassels for free, aren't you, really? Yeah. Free tassels with every Larimar purchase. <laughs> That's the thing I love about the strands is you have got the tassels there and they are massive at the moment and they don't seem to be going away. No, they and don't I don't understand why away. because I actually adore wearing tassels. I yeah. just like big and bold things, you know, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the necklaces where it's all tassels all the way around? I have, I have. Oh, incredible. I've, I made once one a long, 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 long time ago. Yeah. I was just, oh, I didn't want to get rid of it. Oh. It was lovely. But yeah, no, tassels definitely. So don't throw them ever away. If you, if you buy strands, um, don't throw them away. I've used them. Yeah. yeah. Use as much of it mm. as you can. That's the beauty of, of the designs that we make. So you have a chance to get a hold of these. Don't go anywhere as well because we have got the kit coming up in the next hour and you wait until you see the jewellery. It is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Also got loads more deals for you, including this, which I'm going to give you a sneaky peek of. I like... <sighs> That is lovely. Most incredible strand. So that's coming up very, very soon, along with the kit as well. So sit back, relax, and we shall see you in two. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account.
Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Hello, welcome back. I'm Laura Lou. This is the gorgeous Nadia. Hello. I'm not going to do that because otherwise everybody's going to switch off and go home. So, yeah. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. We've just been discussing about whether we should sing for the next hour. And it has been agreed, probably not. No, that has been a very resounding nope. Yeah. It's a no from me. Yeah. And it's a no from me either. She suggested that maybe I should do it, but... It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. What is going to happen, though, is we're going to bring you some incredible, incredible kits. Now, we are going to start off with Shell and Eslon. Now, you received the kits basically yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. Yeah. Um, so she has created some amazing pieces, but she's also brought in some other items as well to show you what can be done. So we can have a sneaky peek of these because they're incredible. Incredible. It's so much fun to... I love shell pearls just because they are just gorgeous. Shell but pearls are so regal. They are. Mm. I've, I've got a thing about shell at the moment. They are. I just I also adore them. Whenever I get them in a kit, I'm just, yes, doing a little happy dance. They are very, very exquisite. Mm. They're just, they're nice to work with. They, they feel nice as well. They do, and they're just, they, because they... They are pearls, basically. Yeah. You know what you get, and I always like the look of pearls. They're just so elegant. I absolutely love the look and the colours you get in the abalone shell. Mm. Um, all together, it's just just down my street, really. The shell is technically created in the same way as a pearl is. Yeah. So what you get, you look at it, and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, the they colours. are stunning. So you're going to get one of each. You're going to get your abalone. I'm so lonely. That's what it always makes me think of. <laughs> um, so your abalone is double-sided. 
And that's the thing I love about this, is when you've got the double-sided ones, they're completely different. Completely different. Yeah, and the patterns that I get are just... Every single one is unique and different and tells its own story, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. So you get one of these, um, which is... Oh, what's the size of this one? Do, do, do. Oh, hello. Oh, it's not working, it's not working. No, it's logged me out. What's the size of my shell? I've got to wait for Becky. It's logged me out, so I can't actually see. It's, it's, it's me and technology. It's me and seed beads. It's me and technology. Oh, you my, my soul sister. There we are. It's two of us together. It's going to be an interesting show. <laughs> it is. Um, so, is that the abalone? Okay, this shell is 50 by 40. And the abalone is 40 by 30. There we are, so there are your measurements. And the shell, I love the fact you've got this beautiful tapering. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that, but it's slightly thicker at the top than it is at the base. Beautifully, beautifully created, that is. These are fabulous for setting in macrame because quite often gemstones have a flat side yes. um, and then a sort of domed side. Yes. Um, and if you set these in macrame bezels they slot really really beautifully into the um, the bezel you create mm. for them because it's kind of like a rectangular strip that runs ah. down it. so they slot in really nicely and that's why i really like working with them as well and they sit so beautifully around the stone as well yeah yeah i just i'm really fascinated by the colors you can see coming mm. through so you're getting the two shells and you're also going to be getting some eflon you're going to be getting, thank you, my lovely, a lot of it. It's 70 metres of each. That's well, loads. Yeah, and it'll last you a long time. I say yeah. that every single time. It's just because, especially the point four, um, you get a lot of bang for you, for you back because um, you can produce so many pieces with that. Yeah, um, yeah you really can. And yet still have tons and tons left. They're all 0 0.4 mil in the size of them. You're getting teal. You're getting pink, you're getting light orchid. Which one would light orchid be? I'd probably say this one. Okay. That, one would, that looks like salmon to me, but... Oh. This one. So this one's the light orchid. So that must be the pink. Uh -huh. Oh, that's pink coral, that's why. Oh, okay. So li uh -huh. light orchid, pink mm. coral, teal, golden yellow, and capri. Some beautiful colours in there. Yeah, I'm liking the yellow. I am very, very, very much summery, liking isn't it? Mm. I like it because you, when you put it with the abalone shell, I mean, it doesn't matter what cord you put with the shells, it picks up that particular colour, doesn't it, in the oh. shell itself? Because the shell displays so many different colours, so you can put it with either and it picks up that particular colour. Quite like it with the pink. Mm. So this. For all of these, which is 70 metres of each, and your two gorgeous shells, £29.95. Brilliant price. Now, the next part of the kit is the seed beads. Sorry, my lovely. Donna, these are massive. Six O's, yeah. Beautiful as well. They're really, really mm. lovely. Really lovely. Um, they almost look like ceramics. They've got that kind of almost, um, I'm not thinking of, for some reason I've got wax in my head. It's not wax, it's um, almost resin. It's almost like oh, a, okay. um, it's kind of the, um, enamel. Oh, oh yes, okay. It's almost got an enamel it. feel, yeah. Mm. Especially the blue ones, I think. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So this kit is called Patchwork Bracelet and you will be getting three of the Miyuki. They are six O's, as has already been said, and the 20 grams per tub. Now you've got aqua, you've got silver lined dyed hot pink, and you've also got silver lined pale gold. The aqua is actually amethyst aqua. Oh, I like that. Mm. And we're going to guarantee this part of the kit is going to go under dun, 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 dun. 10 pounds. Three tubs of your six O's. We don't get six O very often. It's only 11 now, isn't it? 11 or 8 O. Six O. 
£9.95. I like using them in projects. Um, yeah. Just because you can fit so many cords through, even for wire, I like to make um, sort of bangle bracelets with that, where ah. I feed them onto the wire. It looks quite nice with that. So you have like a, a base wire of one mil, um, and you feed seed beads on and you keep them in place with 0.4 wires yeah. so basically you're creating like a seed beaded wire a seed beaded bracelet but with wire yeah yeah the thing for me as well is if you have difficulty with picking up the smaller mm. seed beads or if you have difficulty seeing the smaller seed bead the, the hole in the bead i think these would be perfect for you because they are larger they're easier to work with and they do have a more substantial aperture in the center yeah, no, absolutely. You can fit so much through, and you, you can use them for so many different applications just because of their size. Yeah. They can even be spacers if you wanted to in a necklace. Um, they can be like earlier when I showed you how to make this looped back bracelet. You can yeah. use those as the um, the sort of um, what do you call it? A spacer holder. Uh, what would you call that? Mm. A slider, something like that. But it's you know what I mean. a slider, but it's not. We'll call it a spacer for now. Oh, a spacer. Yeah. 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 I mean, as I said, so many different applications. Yeah. So. I'm, I really like the blues of these ones. Mm. Loving this blue. They're kind of leather in the centre, don't they? Yeah. Blue on the outside. So it's amethyst aqua mm. is this one. And you do really get to see the purple coming through. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty combination. I, I don't know. I just... Those two. Mm. Those two together. I love the golden tone, the light yellow, but those two, whoa, they are lush. So can we have a look at the, the bracelet that yeah, you've made sure. with them? Absolutely. Because they really are very defined, aren't they? They're fantastic for something like that, a nice bold piece. Yeah. It's almost carnival. A festival or a carnival-esque yeah. kind of look to it. A lot of fun. Yeah. They give a lot of structure just because of their size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're still quite lightweight as well at the same time. Love it. So you're getting three in the pack. It's £9.95 for those. Now I'm going to question what are you going to demo? Well, you've got a brand <laughs> <laughs> So, take it away. All right, shall I start then? Okay, so may I take this off? Or do you Go want on to them. take a picture first? Okay, all right, so I'll take it off. I'm going to quickly walk you through what we're going to yep. do. Okay, so we've got to Do you start. need these? I've got these for you. Here. Okay, okay. You, okay, so we're going to start by creating this loop here. Okay, so we need our cords. So I've got the point four cords. Um, so creating this section yeah. first. So we've got our cords cut here. You can take as many cords as you want. Okay, for this I have decided to take four pinks uh, two blues um, and two greens. Okay, so this is the same thickness as this will give you. The yeah. more cords you take, the thicker this whole thing will be. Okay. Okay. So I've just taken um, what I've said here. Now I need a yellow cord to create this colour here at the top. So I'm just going to take this one needs to be a little bit longer. So for the whole bracelet, I would say you need about a meter and a half of cord or two, okay. two meters. The longer you need it uh, for your wrist, the longer you need the cord. So I'd say the, you know, the wider your wrist, that would probably say about two meters yeah. per cord. And for the yellow cord, you need it even longer because we are going to use a lot of that yellow to create the uh, sort of woven section yeah. around the top. So I'm going to trim this and I'm going to take this cord and attach it to my board um, the same length. It's obviously longer than, than all of these cords here. Yeah. Okay, so if, if your cords here are two meters, I would make the yellow cord roughly about uh, two and a half meters. Okay. The reason being, and we're going to attach it just so that the yellow cord ends exactly where the other cord ends on the left hand mm -hmm. side. Attach it to our board. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm just going to rotate the board round. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my yellow cord and take these core cords here as well. Call them core cords because we're attaching cords to them. And what we're going to do with the yellow cord is tie lark's head knots around. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with my yellow cord. I go over and loop it around once. Pull that through. So that's around all of them? Around all of them. Okay. So you bring in, and then I'm going to feed it underneath it. Okay, underneath yep. all of the cords. So it's over and then under. Yep. Bring the cord through. And that's a lax head knot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. So over. Yep. And under. Yep. 
and then pull it through. And it's always, you always pull the cord through to the left. So again, it's over and under. And you just keep going. Uh, for these sort of loops, I always make about 30. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, and then as you, it's a good way to practice these. Um, these, are, these are called lax head knots and these are also used to um, attach objects, uh, bring in new cords. Um, okay. There's many different uses for a lax head knot um, and different var variations. This is a continuous lax head knot. You get a lax head knot where you just attach um, a cord to an object without knotting yeah. continuously like that. Okay, so you would just basically carry on until you would get a section that looks like this. I'm just going to bring this across. And don't worry about all of the cords. As I always say, you don't actually use them all at the same time. Yeah. So you've got something like that. So That's really pretty on its own, is. isn't it? Yeah, that's just a row of lax head knots and you've got your yellow cord sitting here, okay? So what we're going to do next is I'm going to just remove this section here. And as you can see with this section here, we're just going to fold it. Now before you do that, as you can see here with the bracelet that I have, um, I've used a bead from my stash. Um, okay. To attach at the back, and this will be my, mm. um, my kind of uh, clasp. I'm yeah. gonna, before you close off what you have, you need to test that your bead actually fits through. Yeah, no, you may okay, have made it too small too. I mean, obviously, you can always find another B when you get to the end. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't fit, yeah. you know. So always make sure that it fits. So you have this section here, and I'm going to take a pin. I always use my pins to help me secure stuff because it, it's much easier. I pull, try and find the center. Pull these closed, like so. And I'm going to attach, there's a bunch of cords now. Um, so I'm going to use these and attach this. And what I'm going to do now is tie a square knot around all of them. So again, it's a four with your left hand cord and you take the right hand cord, feed it underneath everything, pull it tight like so, and then reverse from the other side. So a reverse four over all the cords and um, bring the left hand cord under everything out through the right. And that mm. is a lax head knot and that ties everything off together. Now you okay. would do another one. So the next step is to separate out all of these cords into half. So we're going to have, I think, four blues. Um, I just need to see what I have here. I've got four. Okay, three pinks I have here. And I've got one, two, three greens, and three blues. And the same here. So you just need to make sure that they are on the center. Okay, so now the next step is, I'm going to take a pin. At this stage, there isn't much to pin through, so just try and use needles to keep everything in place. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to take a pink one on the left after I separated them out, grab hold of the yellow one as well, and I'm going to tie a right double half hitch. So it's over once, pull that tight, and repeat once. So bring that in. Okay, so now what I need to do is pick up the yellow. Okay, now this is an important step. You need to remember to leave the yellow cord out. Okay, so I'm going to do the same what I've done, but I will bring the pink cord back in to the group. Okay, pick mm -hmm. up the yellow, go under, and tie a right double half hitch. And again, you need to repeat the step twice, the loop twice, for it to be one complete knot. Okay. Yeah? So now, leave the yellow cord, tuck it at the front so you don't accidentally pick it up. And now, deciding which colour you want to be next. Uh, I went with green, so I'm going to do the same again. And I'm going to tie one right double half hitch. Like so. Put this cord back in. And pick up another green and tie this around all of the cords. Pick up the green, put it back into the column, mm -hmm. pick up a different color. This is how you would get it. It doesn't have to be another green. It's just what I chose. It can be anything. Um, feed it back in line. Now I decide I'm going to pick up a blue. Tie it all together. Um, and then just keep going. And as long as you want 
okay just depending what size of bead you want to fit in the center so what we need to do next is obviously we're coming out if you're having a look at the bracelet here we are coming out with the wave mm. now we need to come back in okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to reverse knotting direction and the way to do this is we switch hands so core cords come into your right and you're working core very important underneath okay mm -hmm. now we're tying a left double half hitch which is anti-clockwise through the loop pull tight and you can see how this forces the cords towards the center now very important we do not um, tie the cords back in so now I'm just going to pick up the next cord loop it around leave it sitting aside pick up the next and so forth okay so this now you can see how the curvature creates you it's quite important that you actually use the same kind of cords that you have mm. the same amount of cords yeah. going out as you as you're doing coming back in yeah. okay obviously we do the same on the other side okay and then you'd get to a section that looks like that so whatever you have done on the left you mirror on the right mm -hmm. yeah so i'm going to release this and i've got a section that i have done already so now we are we've got our cords here and we are now ready to add seed beads okay so whatever you have uh, whatever combination of seed beads you would like i'm just going to pick up those gorgeous purples add three feed these onto the two yellow center cords that we left out obviously you may remember to leave one out on the other side as well just mm. as we've done on the on the left hand side you need to leave one out on the other side pick up your seed beads and just go through and you can see how easily they fit on because they as i said the six o's are fantastic Fit these on so now we've got our two cords and this is how we're going to attach so we're going to bring these in and we're going to attach a yellow cord on either side to this right like so so that's one and make sure that you go quite tightly two and then on the other side as well like so so now here comes an important bit so now you can see how it centers okay so what we need to do is we're going to take one pink one from the opposing row and tie it around to knot them together mm. okay so now we have um, cords on either side the mm. next step is pick up a yellow and we're going to restart the process from the beginning so you're going to tie a cord around these sections here and now what you would do is add seed beads to these cords just like okay. we did here and so i'm just going to show you how to do this i'm going to add one here it doesn't matter what color it's just the way i've added them in you're going to try and see how you'd like them to sit that yeah. depends on how many you want to add so you've got your seed bead added to the cord and then just simply bring your cords in and bring them back into the center and you repeat the process that we have just done for the top so you pick up all these cords um, and keep knotting and this is just repetitive except that now you're adding seed beads here so you just keep going so i'm just going to do the other side yeah um as well and then the so you've got something there so i have got here for you a little booklet with this gorgeous lady um, and it is the patchwork bracelet which i believe you have got here haven't well, you actually, so yeah. this is what it's going to help you to create this beautiful design i really love that i had so much fun making it with those colors as well it's just this is such a versatile design because you can use as many colors as you like make it as wide as you want yeah um it's just i love it you can use different seed beads or you can use it with so the nice thing about this is you can actually use the kit if you bought yeah. the kit with the, um, the Eslon and also with the seed beads as well you can use that kit of course it's a different colorway to replicate this particular design it's got step-by-step -step instructions all the way through um, they are beautifully pictured in there very easy steps um, and it shows you everything you possibly could need to know all the details it lists everything off for you 
And of course, you've got the gorgeous, the hostess with the mostess, <laughs> right on the front there as well. So it's a lovely way of doing it. Everything you could possibly want. Because I know the demos are really, really good and you can watch them back again on YouTube, but sometimes it's just, it's a little bit easier to have it right there in front of you. I know with me, I'm very, I'm very much a pictures person. Mm, so am I quite yeah. like following instructions. So, I mean, I, I write tutorials. Um, that's, that's what I do. Um, just because when I started Macrame first, I, there wasn't much around you know, yeah. all those years ago and I was very frustrated because I wanted to learn and I, I couldn't because um, there wasn't much. So I thought, oh, you know, let me, let me write stuff. And yeah. I think it's, it's just very helpful when you, when you have instructions in front of you. And I'm always grateful when I learn a new medium, when people are actually taking the time. There's so much stuff on YouTube and, and yeah. you know, everywhere, taking the time to actually make stuff for you. I'm very grateful yeah. for that. So. Think it's yeah, that is. That's one of the nice things about our community as well mm -hmm. is the fact that everybody does help each other out. It's really lovely in that regard. So you've got your little booklet here, which does the A, I want to say A to B, but the, the very B, A to Z of how to make this particular bracelet. All the information, all the tips and hints that you could possibly want, created by this gorgeous lady herself. And you're getting it for just £2.95, less than most magazines out there. I know. Less than a coffee in some places. Now there's a message from Anne. Bum bum bum. It's not on my screen, so I can't see it. Aww. Can you read that? Yeah, it Thank says uh, I have this booklet. It is very very easy to follow, and I have nearly finished. Thanks, Nadia. Oh, that's lovely. I can't wait to see Anne. Thank you, Anne, for sending that that's in. Lovely. Send the picture in when you've done it. I'd love to see it. Though. Send the picture in. Oh, I've got Bertha. Hello, darling. I can actually read this one. Can you? Oh, yeah. right. It's right um, as if it's on my screen, I can read it. Uh -huh. It's all good. Hi, JM team. Just started watching. Nadia, love that bracelet. Beginner to micro macrame and never thought about using different colours of cord. Oh, yeah. No, it's so much fun. Oh, you, and especially with your Eslon range because you, you never shy off colours. Yeah. That's so, true. no, oh, yeah. No, it'd be fun. I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> blend away. Blend those colours away. It's nice with the actual set that we've got here as well because you have got, if you're loving your blues and greens, you've got your blues and greens. You've got your lighter colours there as well with your corals and your orchid. Um, now, if I hold this one up, it gives you another example. Sorry, I'm taking it away from oh, you. Sorry. Um, it gives you another example of how to mix those colours as well. So if you have never thought about mixing colours with your micro macrame, da -da -da -da. there is another booklet coming up as well a bit later on at nine o'clock with the second kit. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And I will hand back over to you. Right, lovely. I'm nearly done. I'm just going to put this together. And See, I was wondering if you did this separately, but you're doing it as you're going along, aren't oh, yeah, you? Oh, yeah, it just builds as you go along. That's the nice thing with Macrame. There's never, or well, hardly <coughs> ever, where you have separate bits. Mm. Um, it's all in, done in one piece. And um, that's why you can, can see, unlike with wire work, sometimes you have different components where yeah. you, you put them together at a later stage. But generally with Macrame, um, it just builds as you work along. Yeah. Right, so I'm just not going to add seed beads for sake of time to the centre of the yellow ones, okay? But you would add seed beads to them, okay? So I'm just going to close them shut. And you don't have to, if you quite like the open space, you don't actually have to add seed beads. You see how it starts moving around. I use pins quite often because that gives you the stability um, to work with them. So pins are, for me, I find an essential yeah. tool. Do you tend to use the T pins as well? Sometimes with a thick cord. Yeah. Okay, so obviously you would tie this off here. And then you would start up again um, with the pattern. So in the last section, so I was actually supposed to gather all of these cords back mm. in. When when you when you're getting towards your end section here, okay, you obviously don't want these cords sticking out. So you no. would as you go along gather them back in instead of leaving them sitting out if that makes any sense. Okay. Just like I picked them up here yeah you'd pick them up here so that you've got all the cords coming out on either side yes yeah. so you do that I, have, I forgot to do that now um, but and then you would tie the shut and then the last step okay is to actually so you would have all of your cords here so depending what color you want to sit at the end you can pick let's say I'm going just gonna go with blue and green just because I forgot to tuck them away and I'm going to like this in here, and I'm going to create a square knot to close it all off, just like I did in the beginning when I started the bracelet. Go through. 
obviously it would be a lot tidier because there would be seed beads in the center and mm. tie this off and then um, you do two or three of those so you pick the bead that you've chosen in the beginning okay you feed that through and okay here I've got one here and you pick up a cord or two whatever however many will fit through like that yep and then just tuck this back in and tie another square knot around the bead as well just going to go three underneath and now just slide it all into place there we go and tie this shut and then come from the other side and I would go and tie probably about two or three square knots and then what I simply do is cut off the cords and I singe them with a lighter so that it's oh, never, okay. if you have a look here yeah it's just trimmed off I'm just going to show you here so will that seal it then that will seal it you can see I've just trimmed it off so obviously the less square knots you make the shorter it is but also you just want that extra security so basically that's how it would look that's pretty simple cool. and that's it that's how you make it and then that's it thank you very much that was fun thank you you, you make it look so easy it's 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 easy it's it's a lot of fun and it's actually yeah. quite easy once you get the hang of it you just need to you know get used to the knots left and right concept but yeah, yeah it is it's a lot yeah. of fun thank you very much thank lovely. You. i loved it loved it and of course we've still got the booklet for this one if you want to get some um of these you can do two pounds 95 there is a second book with the booklet coming up um in the later hour of 9 p.m start by time already goodness me you know the highlight i showed you a little bit earlier it's our star by. I'm going to have to move these they can little. Come to me. I haven't seen you in a long time. Hello. Oh. He's so beautiful. Hello. He moves and everything. He does, yeah. He's a bit. He's a bit. There you go. There you go. Now he's back in shape. Hello. He really moves like an actual teddy bear. Oh, he was so much fun to make. Yeah, that was a was a project. A oh my fun, goodness. Fun project, yeah. Saying hello, his head doesn't turn. How hello. long did that take? Um, it, 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 it took a while of planning and all that. The actual putting together, probably a week two, um, you know, of, in, of yeah. working all the time on it. Um, the planning, we planned it for a while, um, then eventually put it together. So, yeah. My goodness, well, me. Love it. Fun. Absolutely so, love them. They're you. gorgeous together as well. Um, talking of gorgeous, this strand shows you exactly. Why Iolite is super amazing. Super, super, super amazing. So, you know, tanzanite is really pleochroic, so you can see two to three colours depending on if it's heated or not. This is normally not treated. Just want to double check. Natural? Yes, it is. Normally not treated at all in this instance. It isn't. But look. This one stone shows you something amazing. So, you know, I was telling you yesterday that um, tanzanite, depending on, on, on today, where, where you cut it along the optic axes. So, gemstones have an optic axis. That's all you need to know at the moment. And if you cut it in a certain direction, it'll show a certain colour. Some stones have one, some stones have two, some stones have three. If you're this gemstone or tanzanite, you have three optic axes which means you can get up to three different colours seen within the gemstone and this really does show that off. So where tanzanite is more of a blue-violet, this is more of a violet blue. And you're getting... I'll show you it's all the way around, isn't it? Tanzanite is more of the violet blue, this is more of a... I've said that all the wrong way. One's got more than the other, this is more violet than the other one. But you also get a third colour in this, which is completely different. And it's this gorgeous golden colour. That beautiful, beautiful golden colour. It's magical. 
absolutely magical and you are seeing that in some of the stones you're seeing more of the white because sometimes it can come across as more of a whitey tone and some of them you are getting this fabulous effect often known as bloodshot eye light where you've got these unusual inclusions in there as well so you're getting all of these fabulous elements in it like that. this is stunning absolutely stunning Get yourself the authenticity card with this because it's, it's so unusual. It's just one of those gemstones. It's natural. It's got so many different characteristics. Each and every one is very, very different. And look at the colour. How amazing is that? There is some bad news on this one, unfortunately. There is only 49 of them and that's it. That is it. I'd get it just for this one, that golden tone. I've never seen that golden tone being cut into a shape like this before. It's just, it is magical, it really is. If you've never used this gemstone before, get a hold of it, it's really, really stunning. Look at that. It is also used as a polarizer, or was used as a polarizer many years ago, uh, mainly by the Vikings. So what they would do is they'd cut it into very fine strips or sheets and they'd hold it up against the sky and you'd be able to see, even if it's a cloudy day, you'd be able to see the location of the sun. Oh, wow. Because it, you, you wouldn't have to see the clouds in the way. And also because of how pleochroic it is, they used to use it as a, a directional tool. So they'd stand at the bow of the ship with a, a big chunk of this. And if it moved off course, you'd see the colour change slightly. So you'd know where you were going. You'd be on course because you'd have your purple or your blue showing and then it'd tilt slightly and you'd see a slightly different colour and you know you're off amazing. course. Yeah. Amazing that gemstone. is amazing. Amazing gemstone. Absolutely amazing gemstone. And like I said, this strand, it just shows everything you could possibly mm. want. Everything you could possibly want. And for $24.95, that's a bargain. I love, I love the prices we have here. Absolutely adore it. Get yourself that authenticity card as well. It's so worth doing. And the selection of colours that you're getting on this strand. If I handed this to you, mm. what would you do? I'd do a variety of things with that. I think I would probably cluster the smaller ones. Yeah. I would bezel the largest one in raw copper and then... Um, um, what is the word now? Uh, well, I would tint, tint the, the copper colour. I've lost the word for it now. Um, anyway, that's what I would I'm do. I'm useless with words. Oh, I've just forgotten. I'd always do this every time, but hey home. So, now I would bezel the centre ones. I would cluster the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And I would probably use a few to have some very simple drop earrings on a long chain. Mm. That's what I would do. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but if I tilt this one... I don't know if you can see that. Can you see how the colour varies <coughs> as it's moving? So you've got a golden tone in that direction, and then we tilt it and you're getting the blue coming through. Such a deep sea blue, isn't it? It's brilliant. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. You've got all, it is like a stormy sea. You're mm. very right on that. Very right. Then you've got the darker ones in there as well. Absolutely. Love all. Now, I am going to promo something for you because you need to know this. It's available, but there is only a small selection of them. It's in about 20 minutes' time. Oh, my word. Oh, I think it's one of my absolute favourite agates. Botswana. Botswana agate. I wait so long to see this back in stock. I, I've Look never seen them the in cab form. I know, mm. I know. It's one of our most popular agates. It's known as the king of the agates. You can see why, can't you? Just the selection, and I love the fact you're not seeing as many of the browns coming through. It's more of that silky, almost a, a moon colour. Blue lace colour. agate, mm. almost. Yeah, like. yeah. Getting a beautiful effect. So that's coming up in 20 minutes time. It's today's must have. Now, Ooh, I'm going to bring to you another DVD. I'm going to bring to you... Oh, nice. Hello. Our little friend over again. here. 
Now, there was a small selection of these allocated to one of the earlier shows and they sold out very, very quickly. Um, so we did request after that happened that we were allowed the remainder of the allocation because we thought it was unfair that some people missed out. So we have got the remaining few of the Wirework Dragon. Wirework and McCry Dragon. He's fabulous. He is so amazing. He really is amazing. Oh, he was a lot of fun to make. It's, it's brilliant to see how it has actually been just beautifully married between the two different mediums. Yeah, it was our first collaboration. It was really exciting to make, so I enjoyed that. He's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I don't even know if I dare ask how long it, it took you. No, that one took a while. It took quite a while. I bet the designing itself on its own just I took think a... It, well, designing, not so much. I mean, we kind of discussed it, you know, back and forth um, a few times. Uh, I think that the process was really the wing, for me, the wings, um, to put them together. But yeah. it was just a labour of love. I absolutely adore making it. And he spends half the year with you, doesn't he, and half the, yeah, the year got, with... Yeah, we've got joint custody. <laughs> 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 that is brilliant. Um, it is available for you right now, showing you exactly how to make this gorgeous creature. £9.95. You have the information on the structural body, the macrame neck and back, macrame tail, wire work legs. It's a two disc DVD as well, so the next disc you'll have the wire work head, macrame wings, seed beading, constructing the dragon. So you have from right from the very beginning, all the way through from start to finish, to work out and create your very own gorgeous dragon. He is amazing. Genuinely amazing. That's it, all the hard work done for you, you get to have the enjoyment. <laughs> there he is. Has it got a name? It's got a Nali, actually, if one of the viewers came up with the idea. Ah. Uh, Nali, it's a marriage between mine and Alison's name. Brilliant. So, yeah, he's Nali. Brilliant. There you are, look at all the, the details. Of the, yeah, that's the wings. Step by step. Brilliant. Hold those lines on that one. Now, if you want to go for more of uh, a sea theme, then we have got the Wirework Dolphin. Uh, that was an amazing DVD. It's so pretty as well. The detailing and the work again. From start to finish, you will learn how to make your very own Wirework Dolphin. Uh, this one is just so nice to see all the different swirls. How difficult would it be to do that? I know Alison's gone home now, hasn't she? Yeah, no, she's left, yeah. No, I think, it, I mean, I've never made a sculpture before, but uh, it won't be very difficult. I think it's just, it's all, again, labour that yeah. goes into that, but it's absolutely enjoyable to create a sculpture like that and very, very rewarding. Yeah, yeah. oh no, absolutely, at the end of it. Can, can you imagine just how much yeah. you're going to feel? Just, yeah. So proud of yourself. Um, in this, you're getting the creating the frame, the fin, the tail, and the beak, followed by body scroll work, constructing the dolphin, and creating the stand. And that comes to £9.95. Again, brilliant opportunity, especially if you do want to branch out from doing the jewellery making into more of the structural things. Um, let me just show you the back of the DVD as well, so you can actually see the breakdown there. I love the scroll work. I know, it's amazing. I mean, every time mm. I see one of Alison's sculptures, um, it's fantastic. And it, she explains sing, things so beautifully um, that, you know, even if you've never tried it before, yeah. you're able to follow it and, you know, work up your skills and be able to make something like that. So it's amazing. Yeah, it really is. Genuinely is. Um, still a few of those available for you, so grab them while you can. Now, next up. Ooh, a bit of a mystical. Labradorite. Oh, it's my favourite. But in little drops this time. Top drilled. Ooh! Colour! Loads of colour on this one. Is this Madagascan? Oh, Africa! Mm -mm -mm. Lots of colour coming from this one, which is really, really nice to see. Look at those. Really? 
Okay, all I need to say is dial now, get it in your cart, it's under five. <laughs> oh, Way hell. under five. Is that Kerry in the seat again? <laughs> she's getting defensive now, she's like, no, it's, it's just me doing a good deal. Um, that's Becky in the seat at the moment. If you missed out earlier on, Kerry did take over and took something ridiculously low. There was a bit of a domestic in the gallery earlier, wasn't there? I was there? saying there's going to be some arguing going on. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> they are sisters, by the way, so um, we, we kind of expect a little bit of bickering between them, but that was, that was a bit concerning. £3.95 is what you're looking at for this one. If you swap... Well, we didn't, did we? No, we, didn't we didn't tell. I don't... I don't... I think we, I don't think I would. You just sound too alike. You really do sound alike. It's, it's really quite... I never know who's talking when, when both of you are talking. I think if you probably speak, your mum probably would be able to tell you apart. <laughs> I do, I feel really <laughs> horrible saying that, but I genuinely can't tell you apart vocally. That's horrible to say, isn't it? I don't think so. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. We did have that nice day out together when my daughter refused to eat the food and threw it all over the floor. She's like, I don't want to be in there. And we had a brownie, it was brilliant. Mm. And now I can't tell them apart because they sound the same. That's it, I lost my friends now. Don't have many, just lost two. Um, 160 carats of blue tiger's eye this time. I love ooh, those. Ooh, ooh. Royal blue, isn't it, that? Yeah. Mm. The nice thing about Tiger's Eye is it really does take a dye exquisitely well. It does just so well. doesn't it? Mm. It does, but the thing is it still shows that um, chatoyancy, which with a lot of things you'd expect, considering how deep and rich the dye is, you would expect it to lose the optical effect, but if you look, it mm. doesn't. Nine pounds ninety-five as well. You can see that effect so clearly, so clearly. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. I'd like to pop this with the lapis lazuli from earlier. Oh, cluster it maybe. Because mm. mm. it'd be nice to see the pyrite in the mm. lapis, but then also to see the the chatoyancy on this. When it catches the light, those two optical effects would be amazing together. Yeah, I think maybe the gold specks in the lapis would. Really go well with the chatoyancy in the yeah, stone. Yeah. Stardust mm. beads as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, there's a combination. Yeah. Mm. Stardust beads, this and lapis. Ooh. Ooh. Um, if, if you're wondering, you probably aren't wondering now, but Adam's just got it completely wrong as well. <laughs> the voices are the same. I think you got it right. You think you got it right? I think. You, you didn't. It was Becky who was talking. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't know who's talking now. I d just, it's confusing. Just don't, don't ever say the name, just nod. Yes, mm. that's all you can. It's so confusing. Be grateful you don't have two sisters in your ear who sound exactly the same, doing two completely different jobs. It's like having twins, isn't it? You know, when they, they switch class. Wouldn't know, but yeah. I've got no, friends who did that oh, when they were younger. No. They <gasps> twins and they switched the class. Oh no. And nobody noticed. For how long did they do that? Oh, they did it for a day. Oh, for a day. Nobody noticed. No. Oh, that was so funny. Imagine your friend comes up and tells, you know, she tells you a secret or something. I know. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want, I don't know if, if I had a twin, I'd want to do that. I don't know. Luckily, we have a gemstone here that has lots of twins because these are gorgeous, aren't they? Mm. Again, really beautiful. So we're looking at garnet. We're looking at... Um, it's normally known as Rajasthan garnet because that's the location it comes from. It's from India. Um, it's actually a rhodolite garnet. And I don't know... I, I just... Look, look at that quality. I don't know what it is about... There's a lot of stones that I say I don't know what it is about it, but you just don't know what it is about the stone that makes you love it, whether it's the colour or whether it's the way it 
has the gleam or whether it's the way the light bounces off it there's just something about no, the stone. No, I know exactly what you mean and you know it does sound silly it's like I don't know what it is about the stone but I, you know every single stone has that yeah. special something yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can never place your mm, finger on mm. quite how to explain it. Um, £7.95 as well. Did I notice Carrie said that? No. They're playing with us you know. They are. <laughs> they are absolutely playing with us. <laughs> but from now on, I'm just going to class you as the voice. Exactly. No, that's fair. Don't don't say the name. Just nod. No. Yeah. Mm. Just just nod. Seven pounds ninety five from the voice. Which voice that was, I do not know. But it's the shape as well, I think, with this one mm. because it is your marquee. It's beautifully faceted around the sides there as well. Love them. Imagine those as droplets on earrings. Mm. Several different ones. Again, mm. on a little chain with a hip pin through. Mm -hmm. Be nice. Be so nice. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, just getting a little bit distracted by the shapes of each of them because some are slightly thicker and I'm thinking you could bezel set some of these. Oh yeah, you could. Right there. A bit of why I'm thinking prong setting as well. Yeah, yeah. The delicate ones in a ring or so, a channel set them or. Yeah. I love them. I love the fact you've got sort of a, almost a golden colour coming mm. in the centre there. I just like to team them with pearls. Yeah. Oh, pearls and mm. this will go fabulously together. Just wondering, would it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll look really nice. It's just a little simple bracelet like that. Especially just because you can tell it's a genuine gemstone just by looking at it. I always yeah. like to show that off, you know, when I have a strand like that, just to simply re-strand it and pop yeah. it on when I go out. I'm also thinking it'd be quite nice, you know, the wish bracelets where it's just the one. Mm -hmm. Do you think that'd be too small for a wish bracelet? It should be all Some right, people like it? small yeah. like that, so I don't think so. You have to have something for everybody. Yeah, mm. yeah. And we've got very dainty little um, sterling silver chains that you could use yes. to, to create a bracelet like that. You know? Yeah, that's very true. Mm. Very true. So you are looking at 30 centimetres in length for £7.95. So good luck on that one, my lovely. Now, do, 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 do. I'm going to bring you this. Oh, now that is oh. an opal. No. What is that? Agate. It's either howlite or it's magnesite. Magnesite. It's magnesite. Oh, I love those. Mm. Sorry. I know I said I'm a little bit scared. I'm not scared of graduations. It's just I'm very clumsy and things tend to go everywhere. But I would get a hold of this one and I would make sure I pinned it down in such a way that when I removed it to restrand it, it wouldn't be going anywhere. Yeah, I think I would actually go through with a beading needle without taking that off. Oh, okay. I would do that, Joe. Because I'm, I'm the same, I cut it and it just the minute I leave my eyes off the strand, it just goes down my sofa or in my shoes or oh. somewhere it's not supposed to go. Or knowing my luck with the cat. Mm -hmm. The cat? Oh, the cat. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm finding random things around the house thinking it's, it's my little girl taking them around. No, it's the cat. <laughs> That's funny. Sponges, dish, dish sponges. <laughs> I'm finding them all over the house. Oh, like, That's why is it? funny. There we are, and it was her winter hat. Had been pulled out of the cupboard. She was playing with that. It's funny. And she'd taken it downstairs. So I found it on the kitchen floor. Why is this hat out? As a cat. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. There we are. Love that cat. She's brilliant. Uh, 150 carats white magnesite. Oh, I love those. They're just stunning. They are. And I will just restrand them. <laughs> Do you know what? I would actually buy this just for my son because he loves golf. Sorry, I had to say that's, this. They yeah. remind me of golf balls. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I think you could actually make cufflinks for someone that's you an avid golfer. Could. So, so I would definitely get that for my son to make him, for instance, just a very simple bracelet. Yeah. Well, he's, not a, he's not a big jewellery wearer, but I think he would wear a small bracelet with just one stone. You yeah. know, it just looks like a golf ball. Even if you go for one of the smaller ones, yeah. so it's a little bit more discreet. Yeah. I think it's fabulous. That'd be brilliant. That would be brilliant. And if you do want to restrand it as a necklace, I'm, oh, I can't even get a hold of it. There we are. Um, it looks like that. Oh, I love that. Do you know, it looks like a really classy pearl yeah, necklace. Yeah, it does. You can pearl knot those just in place like that. 
I love that. Maybe it's put some spinel or something in between. Oh, I think just, yeah, anything would go well. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, oh, you love this gemstone. What, what have you got? Fluorite. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it's stunning. Yeah, it's I do. It's so nice I adore fluorite. to find someone else who adores fluorite. Oh, it's one of my favourites. It's, it's the one that started me off in my obsession with really? gemstones. Yeah, because it's the first cave that I ever went, well, cave mine, I ever went into mm, as a kid. Okay. And it was the first experience I'd ever had, and that was uh, the Blue John Mine in Castleton. And it was, we didn't get to go on holiday very often as a child. Um, so when we had day trips, it was like, yes! And this was the most memorable day trip. Brilliant. Oh, Going down in a cave. I'd love to see that. Oh, my goodness. You're welcome to come over, oh, and I'll take you to Castleton. Well. Any time you like. Oh, I'd love to see Any time. There's so many different mines there. You'll love it. Well, well, you'll never come back and see daylight again, I think. No, you'll be down there forever. Mm. So many fun mines. There's one with uh, an under underwater... It's technically a lake, I suppose, but you have to go on a boat underground. Oh, no, that is amazing. Yes, yes. it's brilliant. Oh. So you get to see all sorts of crystals on the wall yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get to see a lot of fossils. Oh, that's A lot brilliant. of fossils, and they do show you the seam at the Blue John. So, yeah, it's brilliant. And you get to see stunning things like this. You get to see stunning things like this. So this is, it's not Blue John, it is fluorite. And you're getting colours of fluorite in this one, which are stunning in every way. Gorgeous greens, beautiful purples. And the graduation on this is just the colour, or sort of almost an ombre, um, £8.95. Yeah, I'm always amazed how they managed to have a real eye for that. Yeah. It's almost a sin to break it up, isn't it? Yeah, I like it as it is. Exactly. I do like it as it is. Stunning. Just the different shades you get. It really shows off the different shades you can get in the one single type of gemstone. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah, that's what's lovely about it. And because it's normally quite a banded stone, it's nice to see blocks of colour. Mm. It's almost as though they've done the banding with the, with stone the stones, itself. Yeah. Mm. yeah, which is quite magical. Very magical. £8.95, definitely worth getting a hold of. Beautiful. And in Wiltshire! Hello, my lovely! There we are. It's there. It's there. Can you see it? I did that too! Treat Cliff Cabin and Speedwell. Speedwell's the one on the boat. Oh, right. Mm. Um, when I was at school, and that was also my first gemstone. Ah. Love it, and thank you for that. So it's just so exciting. There's so many mines. If you never get a chance to be in an area where there's a mine, sort of like a touristy mine, go and see it. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Now, we're going to squeeze one more in. Do, 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 do. Oh, my word. Go big, won't you? Go big and go pink. There we are. Now, if that's not... A Wilma Flintstone. Oh, yes, of course. Restrand it. Go for it. Do you know what? Funny enough, I think it goes well with your dress. A lot of people team yeah. pink and orange together. I don't know. Yeah, 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 that's true. So I think that's a great colour to go with that. It would actually look really nice. You know the bracelet that you did? Yeah. As the bead. In the centre. At the end. The uh, yeah, in the end, or you could actually, if you make the uh, waves large enough, you could put that oh. in the centre as well. You just you need to knot more cords to do that. So you could definitely put that in the centre as well. Yeah, yeah, that'd so, be really mm. good. That'd be a really chunky mm, look then, won't very, it? Very, very chunky. £3.95. If nothing else, it's a stash builder, isn't it? Yeah. Pink quartzite, big, bold and beautiful at 12 mil. Imagine that's a bracelet. But yeah, definitely a Wilmo necklace, yeah. I think. I never can get a picture out of her mind. Definitely. Is well, so <laughs> that is brilliant. I love the colour as well. Absolutely love the colour. So, it's that time already. Don't go anywhere because we've got it's more cool. amazing deals. I know. Flew by. I know. More amazing deals. And don't forget, we have got the final kit coming up in the last hour as well. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 
7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced Jewelry Maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. At Jewellery Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. We've not been eating anything during the break at all in any way, shape or form. No, we don't. We've not stirred my mouth at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's great. So we have got the must-have of the day. Welcome back. If you have been with us already, thank you for staying with us. If you haven't been with us, where have you been? It's been a fabulous night. And I've got... Botswana agent. In caps. I have various strands multiple strands in various shapes and sizes and mm. forms but i do not have cabs no. i want you want i want how many do we have we have a good chance that you can get a hold of them okay we've got 151 of these available for you it is box one agate known as the king of the agates i didn't know that either mm, it's like the lion arr, 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 arr. <laughs> My lion impression. It is like it's like the lion. Um, so it's the king of the agates. I mean, it's fabulous. It's completely and utterly amazing. The colours that you see here. I love it. It's even see-through. Yeah. You get Hello. translucency. You get opaqueness. You get the, these beautiful arrays of colours running through, and it is natural. So completely natural 
The nice thing about this is with Botswana, you do get a variety of colours. They're normally more of earthy tones, so browns going through to the whites, going through to the greys as well. Um, quite often, though, you tend to see more of the brown colours coming in, like you're seeing here. It's really nice that we've got a selection, so you are really getting to see a beautiful array of those more, more silky greys coming through. I don't know what, I'm trying to think of what they remind me of. It reminds me of the moon. Yeah, by something else. I can't actually quite put my finger on it. There it mm. is again. Can't put my just, finger on it. Just slightly eluding you. Yeah. I don't know. Are you thinking gemstone-wise or are you thinking something pretty different? Um, probably both. Hmm. It's almost got a shell-like quality to it with the ripples. Yeah. No, I just can't think of what, what it is that it reminds me of now. Mm. But they're not as stunning. What I can say with this one as well is normally we say we guarantee you the carrot weight, we can't guarantee you the quantity, we can't guarantee you the shapes. Well, I can't guarantee you the shapes, but I can guarantee you will get four pieces. So it's not a case of you might get three, you might get five. You're guaranteed four pieces. You're guaranteed that the overall carrot weight will be 195 carats, but it's just the shapes that may be slightly different. So in this pack, I've got two pairs, an oval and a cushion shape. You may get triangular, you may get around. You never know. You never know. It is one of our most popular agates. Oh, I can see why. I mean, as I said, I've got stacks of different mm. types of shapes. Of the Botswana agate. I'm a bit obsessed with that type of agate. It's brilliant though, isn't it? So what would you do if I handed you this particular one? Because this is the one I absolutely adore. I would bezel set that one um, and probably create an African design yeah. with that. I, I, I don't have sort of a picture in my mind, um, but it had to be African. Just because it reminds me of the African plains. Yeah. Almost looks a little bit like... Um, the peanut wood. You know, oh, when you right. see uh -huh. the, the fossilised peanut wood. It's almost got that feel to it. Not quite, but almost. I just love how it is translucent on the one mm. side. I've never seen that. Yeah, that's the thing with agate. You can get this variety. So it's not going to be um, transparent. It'll be either translucent, which is what you're seeing here. In fact, have I got the torch? I can show you just how translucent I it is. I have the torch here. Here it is. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. You can see that there, can't you? Look how translucent that is. And then you do have that wonderful swirl in the centre. It almost looks like it's painted. That's how Mother Nature intended it. It's fabulous, isn't it? Let me just show you the other ones as well. So you get this... It's almost a viscosity that you get, so it's almost like certain areas are thicker than others, so you are getting that transparency in some, or translucency, sorry, in some. I love that. It's almost like Halcedony, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's just not a stone I could just pick up every single piece and look at them. Ooh! Looks like clouds, isn't it? Yeah, the that one mist, is like the blue mist, lace, mist isn't it? coming over, yeah, mist coming over the hills or something like that. In Africa, especially, um, during the hot season, in the mornings when you wake up, it's absolutely glorious. And that reminds me of when you wake up, and, and we used to live above a valley. And in the morning when you used to wake up, the sun would come up mm. and the, the mist would descend from the mountains and, and gather in the valley and that's what that reminds me of. Oh. It's absolutely amazing. Oh we are. Mm. Twelve pounds ninety-five for the four. That is fabulous. In that's every gorgeous. single way that is fabulous. I love this one. How would you be able to create a design so you could see the light coming through it? You just have to make sure that I mean obviously if you're having it on your neck and all that you yeah. you know you won't be able to see but You'd have to just have a very open design, so try not to cover it and uh, cover it as little mm. as possible. So obviously you want to try and work away from the gemstone rather than cover it with wire. So yeah, um, or be Iron Man and have a glowing chest. 
<laughs> yeah, and that would work. That, that's always an option, isn't it? But really? you can see it even without the light. Mm. And I think, especially in daylight, you'll probably be able to see the lines better. Yes. We can see them there. Mm. Yeah, time. they are gorgeous. £12.95, that's a bargain for four of them. And you are guaranteed four. Now, there's several of them in baskets at the moment. Check those baskets out. Check out. We've got five Gloucestershire, Derbyshire there. Colorado as well. Hello. Hello, hello. I know, I know. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm with you on this one. I love the... I, oh, I was just saying it's absolutely Just the translucency, mm. it's brilliant. It reminds me of African river waters. Um, Sorry, just so very, very homesick at the moment. Like, oh... Okay. How many places have you lived? You were talking about Paris earlier. I didn't live in Paris, but I lived in France. Uh, okay. At, uh, in Saint-Tropez, near Saint-Tropez, Fréjus. Yeah, that was very nice. A long, 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 long time ago, when I was young. So, you've lived in Africa? In France. Yeah, I was born in Germany. Yep. Uh, then I lived in... I didn't live anywhere else, just there. So I lived in, in Germany, then um, France, then back Germany, then Africa, and now I live here in beautiful Edinburgh. That's awesome. So, yeah, no, it was great. Africa's been my home for about 17 years before we came here. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a very special place. So that's why when I look at especially that's why Botswana Agat is really special yeah. to me anyway, because African... Um, but it's just, it's such an amazing gemstone. It really is. Offers so many different um, colours, varieties, mm. shapes. It's a very, very versatile stone. Yeah, it really, really is. And the quality that we have at the moment is mm. fabulous, so mm. don't miss out on that And the cabs. Yeah. They are cabs. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, normally we see it in either rounds or sometimes nuggets as well. Now! Now, 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 now. Oh! Do we have? Oh, yeah. Ethiopian opal. I am going to put it against the darker background to try and give you a bit more of an idea of what the colour is. Because these lights do not do it justice, so putting it on a darker background does help. Look at this. Can I just say, you can see the colour! These lights are bleaching them out, by the way. Mm, the colour do. is amazing in the studio. It does. I'm looking at the screen at the moment, though, and it does come across really nicely on the screen. So it's um, a type of jelly opal because you've got that wonderful, almost a haziness to it, and you get the play of colour, which is that fantastic effect. And this is what the strand looks like when you've... Oh, they're faceted. Are they oh, no, no, the ones on the screen, it was the wrong ones there, sorry about that. Um, but this has got the most incredible effect. And it's nice to see as well, you are getting, you're getting the, the more of the yellows and the lemon colours coming through. Yeah, I mean, I'm biased anyway with open, I'm sorry. So if, Don't apologise. I am totally biased. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the different colours you get in those. I like the translucent ones with mm. almost, uh, you know, no colour. I adore those. Although you don't get many of those there. And I no. like the sort of um, sandy coloured ones. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because it can go really quite dark in some mm. instances. It can go right up to almost a, um, what I class as like a burnt toffee. Oh, yeah. The really dark, almost a ready colour. Um, it's fabulous, all of them are. It's nice as well because when you think when they get darker in colour, you'd think they'd lose some of that um, play of colour, but they don't. It almost um, amplifies it. Mm -hmm. You can see here that they show off in the darker colours just as much as they are in the lighter ones. And they have a slightly different feel to them as well because the translucent ones, the, the play of colour almost dances underneath the surface of the gemstone, whereas with the darker ones, because they've got more of a rich background, if you look there... When it does have the play of colour, it's closer to the surface. It almost ripples across the surface itself. Can you see that? Oh, I love it! And you're about to get the most amazing price on this one as well. Thirty-four ninety-five for the entire strand. <laughs> Look at the colours. There is nothing quite like an incredible quality opal. 
And when you get a chance to own it at prices like this... You don't need a lot of it either. It does go a long way. We don't need to use a lot for no. a high-end piece, isn't it? Just a few, maybe two or three as a centrepiece for a simple bracelet or a few stacked up as earrings. Yeah. See, I'm greedy, though, so I can't go, I just want it on you. I know, I think especially with Opal, for me anyway. Oh, look at that one. The red one. That one there, the green one. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's got reds and greens and everything. Yeah. Yeah, they are brilliant. Okay, we're getting so spoiled now with these because we haven't yeah. had... I mean, when we first had Opal, it was like, oh, we've got some stunning Opal now. Mm. Right, so. the, the thing with it is, is the Ethiopian Opal, from the particular mine that we used to source it from, um, that's, that's gone now. So there's a lot of people who have sort of... Um, I don't know. Sorry. You want to see this? Shiva's oh, on my word. I love those. I love everything you have today. I must stop saying this. Just love it. <gasps> so this is the eye side. That's the side we normally see when we've created jewellery, which is really lovely. But this is, this is technically the eye side. Because this is normally found... Um, it's a turban snail. I'm so curious to find out how this is. It's brilliant. Tell me. So it's a turban snail. So you know how you've got your snail shell? Yeah. Huh? And you've got the opening of the shell? Yeah. Well, this is the door at the front of the opening. Never. To protect the snail. It's actually what it uses to close. Yeah, it closes it. So that bit oh, that is, is at the front, so it looks like an eye. Oh, that is excellent. So when the snail sort of had his life and has been happy, this drops off. And you find them at the bottom of the sea. Oh, that is brilliant. Yeah. That's, oh, that's why it's called Shiva's eye. So oh, if you look at them, it's almost like a fish eye, isn't it? Mm. But they are amazing. They are incredible. I'm learning a lot tonight. I love them. That's excellent. The feel of them as well is fantastic because it has got that shell feel, but it also feels like stone, if that makes any sense at all. When you hold it in your hands, if you've ever had this particular um, gem, you will, you will understand. £14.95 is the price. They look fabulous as uh, pendants. I, to, I love them. I absolutely adore them. They're on both sides. You can use them either way. You can yeah. make maybe a reversible pendant even. Yes. You know? Yeah, because yeah. it's a shame. A lot of the time when I've seen them in jewellery, it's just this side that you see, and this side's normally covered. Mm. It's normally a closed back yeah, setting, I, I which is a shame. I definitely have to make a reversible pendant with those to be able to show off both sides. They're Look both, how pretty that is. Yeah, that's absolutely stunning. I just love such um, expressive patterns in gemstones. Yeah. They're really appealing to me. Yeah. They just, they are fabulous, because if you look at these, they're all different, but look, they all go coil in the same way. Well, that's true. All three coil in the same way. It really makes you think about... It's nature's fabulous. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is with every gemstone, actually. Now that you say, remember we were saying earlier, I can't mm. put your finger on it. I think what... what you know, puts us in awe about things is the way nature creates all this beauty. Mm. Yeah, and the just the feel of them as well. That's the other thing about gemstones. It's the, it's the tactile nature of them. They're brilliant. Right. Oh, what going to bring you next? How about some chains? Ooh. Knowing me, I'll get these tangled now. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Don't say it. Ooh, ta-da! We need a drum roll. <laughs> we do need a drum roll, because that's never happened before. Normally they get tangled. So you have a chance now to get your hands on a triplet of chains. Not one, not two, but three gorgeous sterling silver Panzer Curve chains, 18 inches each. So if you've made a gorgeous pendant and you need to attach it to something so someone can wear it... What were we talking about earlier, um, that we would use very dainty chains? Yeah. What was oh, that? What was it? Um, uh, it wasn't the blackberry, was it? The citrine? Oh, the citrine for minimal designs, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it would go really well. If you have something mm. smaller that you'd like to show off, yet you like the minimalistic designs, but still want a pendant, I think those are perfect. Mm. I love, I love, 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 love silver chain. 
love it. Especially when they're like dainty like that. Yeah. They're so fluid though, that's what I like about them. Yeah, they really are. There's just something, again, there's just something about it. And silver, of course, is still a, a, an ore from the ground. It forms in a crystal, uh, not in a crystal structure, in a, 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 a cubic structure. Oh. So diamond's a cubic structure, gold oh, and silver. Tell me more. That's very yeah, interesting. I think it's silver. It's definitely gold. Um, so you've got this, this beautiful, beautiful mineral that's used, and it just it is fluid. It's almost like a second skin. When you wear it, it just moves around your body. There is only nine, mm. though, I'm afraid. That's it. That is it. See it, like it, love it, want it, grab it. And, of course, it's great for your uh, gift drawer as well. Oh, absolutely. Works uh, out of £5 each. That's crazy. I oh, mean, I've bought nice. a single chain for that price before. Yeah. That's the one thing my mum always gets annoyed at. Which does, it makes me chuckle, but I understand. Um, when you go into a jeweller's and you, you see a pendant and you love the look of it and it's on a chain, mm. and when you buy it and all of a sudden... They just they take it off the chain and give it to you. You have to buy the chain separately. Oh, she I goes know, mad it? over it. Yeah, I think that's a bit false advertising, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they do that when it's already laid out it, as though it is yep. a full necklace. Oh. My mum's been stung a few times by that. She goes absolutely mad about it. Well, rightly so. Yeah, it does make me chuckle though because she gets re like really mad. My mum is one <laughs> of the calmest people you'll ever meet in the regard of you'll never know what she's thinking, apart from something like that. And then it's like she's a little viper, it's brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Um, but yeah, but there you are. So if you are selling your jewellery, you can incorporate this. Five pounds, you add it to the price, of course. So it's incorporated in the entire price of the necklace. Or stack it in your drawer, keep it safe mm. until it's someone's birthday, and whoop, gift. Little gift. Maybe the C word. You know what? I start putting stuff away for the C time of the year after C's finished. Like, you know, with all the sales and all that. So whenever there's something good like yeah, that yeah. coming up, it would be silly not to build up your stash, you know, because if you do it throughout the year and you have by the time C comes along, yeah. you have a good stash for... Is it bad to say that's when I normally buy my Christmas cards? What? After C's finished. No, I've still got last year's stuff. And keep, keep them, them yeah. for next year. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not the same. If, you, if you're going to be buying for loads and loads and loads of loads, it makes sense. Makes sense. You get loads of great gift wrap as well. Mm. You need to check your baskets out. That was very, very limited on that one. Now, do, 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 pet it down. That was a bit loud, wasn't it? Sorry. No. It's always so juicy, isn't it? It is so juicy. fresh, so... so Peridot always makes me think of spring, regardless of what yeah. year we bring it. Yeah. That's just my... the gemstone of the season for me. Yeah. I found out yesterday as well... Did you? ...that um, the Hawaiian volcano is erupting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. How amazing is that? Oh, I saw that on the beaches and all that. Yeah. I know, that is absolutely excellent. Talking about nature. Oh, I know. Well, that's it. It's just, it baffles you when you think of all these just phenomenal things that happen. It's like um, there are certain lakes, oh, I don't know where they are, but there are lakes which have got creatures in that glow in the dark. So if, if you oh, move... Oh, they wash up on the beaches or something. Yeah, they do, but if you actually go on a, on a, like a boat, a rowing boat, is that the and you plankton? disturb the water... Yeah, the plankton, and it yeah. glows. I've heard of that. How amazing is that? Love this planet, it's brilliant. I know, exactly. And there's still so much more to be discovered as well. I think that's probably why we're so fascinated with everything that comes from Mother Earth, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's just fascinating. No, it really is. Mm. Really genuinely is. 30 carats of peridot. This one has not erupted from a volcano, which is probably a good thing. Um, but it was. Okay. Who? Well, you're there, so it's clearly not you. It's not carry. Three pounds ninety-five. Stash build. That's pocket money. That's the price of some coffees. That's the price of some cakes, and they're normally dry, aren't they? I mean, mm -hmm. 
That's why I stop buying cake from um, when, when I go for coffee shops and things, because they really? always look amazing, but it's always hit and miss as to if it's going to be a moist cake or not. Yeah, well, that's why you're better off with something else like this. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to worry about the calories with this. £3.95. That is nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. When you think about how much you could be paying for peridot mm. or how much if you're making it to sell on, how much you would be charging for the peridot. Love the shape of them as well. Rectangles, don't have that very often. Oh, these are brilliant. I'll be stackering it again. How about you? Mm. Mm. Look at that. That's lovely. What was the one I had on my wrist earlier on that I really liked? It's been so many tonight, you tend to lose track. I'm just trying to think as well. The neon that we had, not the neon, the um, sky blue. The sky blue appetite was really beautiful, the squares. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, that mm. would work. Mm. The ice yeah, cubes. that's right. That's the one. Which would go with your minty. Yeah. Oh, yes. Minty and ice cubes. That could be your mojito bracelet. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, yeah. Hold those lines, my lovely. Hold those lines, because I'm going to bring you a tiger's eye. Oh! <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Ah! Yes! Oh, look at those. No way. Mm. Okay, they're not coming up yet. Oh, my way, I've never seen them. Oh, no! Girl. Sorry, I'm shouting. I'm shouting. I'm getting excellent. I'm sorry. Um, these are black diamonds. Double drilled back black diamonds! 20 minutes, 20 minutes time. See, that'd look nice as a bracelet, something like that. Channel set. Oh, exactly like that. I mean, you, you'd, I mean, you have to be very, very extravagant, but you just have to with them. Show them off just like that. That's a beautiful bracelet on its own. It really is. Maybe we had some diamonds in the morning show um, that you could maybe put in between if you want to be really extravagant. Mm. Um, oh, lovely. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Right, it's coming up in 20 minutes. I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to put you there. Um, after throwing this down, sorry to throw you down there, but I was a bit excited by the diamonds. So this is maple tiger's eye. This is going to be on and gone. On and gone. Good size to it, 25 by 18 millimetres. One pound 95! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. One pound 95. It is a cab. It has got your dome section. It has got your flat back. It's not just a tumbled gemstone, which is the kind of price you're looking at, really, isn't it? Yep. That's fancabulous. It's fantastic. Oh, and then you can get those um, blue tiger's eyes we had yeah. earlier. And maybe, oh no, you know what? That would be fab. Shibori. Mm. Shibori, and then those blue tiger's eye rounds around that. Mm. Yeah, that's what I would do with it. There's less than, is it less than 10? Less than 10 remaining. On and gone, on and gone. And Oval is such a gorgeous shape to work with. It really is. Mm -hmm. I love the effects that you're getting in this, because not only are you getting the tiger's eye effect, but you're also getting almost the stripes as well. It's proper tiger's stone. Yeah, yeah. Meow. Yeah. That wasn't That's really a, That was a cat. Yeah. Meow. 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 I'm fine. I'm, I, I'm being asked if I'm okay. It's just it's purely because I've had yesterday. I can't remember what day it is now. This morning I've been up. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Yes. So I've been up since just before 5 a.m. After 
working last night and then having to finish off some additional work when I was at home, so I didn't get to sleep until one. <sighs> and then that day, little one decided 3 a.m. was the start. So I've had a very limited amount of sleep over the last two days. Well, you look incredibly fresh, I have to say. If that was me, I would look like a... <laughs> I think I'm running on nervous energy. <laughs> 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 she's just, she's full of beans, it's brilliant. Right, we have got... loads of them, actually. It's going to take me forever to actually um, pop these out. So we've got 20 gold-plated 925 sterling silver twist spacer tubes. Love these with chain. Yeah, I like love these well. with chain. I see a lot of people just um, thread them onto bare chain and nothing else, mm. like sliders. So um, and they're great as spacers as well. You can put them in between beads and the pearls, and I like to actually stack them on a head pin and put some pearls through the top just to kind of give volume to it yeah. um, and show them off and maybe also hang them on chains yeah. with beads underneath, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, I like them if the chain is thin enough, and it has to be a very delicate chain, just like you said, little spacers, mm. but it is also nice as well to put a, um, a head pin through. Not a head pin, a eye pin, mm. and attach all, all almost like um, rosary linking. Do you know the patchwork bracelet I was making yeah. earlier? Um, you could use those in the patch. I'll just bring this across here. Mm. Did you have a look? Instead of the seed beads, okay, I'm going to show this up. Hold this here. So instead of the seed beads, you could. So I'll bring this here so you can see how that. So bring this here. Instead of the seed beads, you could use those golden mm. tubes and feed those on. That would look absolutely stunning. Yeah, they're about especially, the right size, aren't they? Yeah, and especially because they're, they're sterling silver. That would mm. be a really classy piece. You could use uh, some high-end gemstones in there as well. So you could intersperse with the, uh, the gold, the tubes. Yeah. Um, and then maybe some of the high-end, uh, maybe even mm. the parent, you know, the little <gasps> facets yeah, we yeah. had earlier? Yes. In between, so make yes. a really high-end macrame. A sterling silver oh, that'd bracelet. Be mm. That'd be really lovely. So 20 in a pack for £6.95. It is gold over sterling silver. Um, they are fab. Again, every single piece that we bring to you, when you look at it like this, I don't think you, we, we ever really get the full, the full idea of what we can do with them until we get them home. And then when you put mm. it against the items that you have in your stash, you'll come up with multitudes of ideas of what you can do. The thing is, though, with something like that, you, there's something that you have in your stash and you will be creating something and then you think, oh, remember, I've got these tubes and you'll pick one up and it'll be just absolutely the most perfect mm. uh, addition to your design at the time. I mean, I've got loads of little things like that. Yeah. It's just worthwhile keeping them in your stash until the right time comes yeah. for you to use them. So, I find for the, if you, you're working with something for the first time, it, it takes me ages. Mm to figure out how to use it or where, what kind of design to use it and then I can't stop using it and then I get sort of stuck going, I want to do it like this, I want to do it like this and then you run out really quickly of the items. So if you can get more than one, get more than yeah. one. Because um, if you're anything like me, you'll sit there for ages going, oh, what do I do with it? And then you just want to use it with everything. Mm. Yeah, and no, I've got loads of stuff like that. So yeah, it's definitely worthwhile to stack up. Stock up, not stack yeah. up. You can stack them up as well, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> but you're better off stocking up. The nice thing about these prices as well, because I used, I've done so many different crafts over the years, because I started when I was really young. Um, I was at primary school, I started doing sewing and various bits and bobs. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I tend to buy kits, because I'd follow the instructions, I know it would turn out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. But I'd then go and buy the components... And I'd be too scared to, to do to, anything with them because they were so pretty and I didn't want to ruin them. Oh, uh, I see. Why, no, I've got that as well, yeah. especially when you're a beginner and you're too scared to, in case later on when you're better and you've used up all your good bits and all yeah. that, no, but you, yeah. mustn't, you must always try. That's the nice thing about the prices yeah. here is you can have a go exactly. and still have the ability to buy more if you want to because they're such good value. Now, next. Ooh. That was, that was kind of a howling dog, I suppose. <laughs> Probably set some of your dogs off, so apologies for that. Ocean Jasper. Now, that would be the perfect size for the bead and a bracelet that we had yes. demoed earlier. 
280 carats of one of the most unusual, one of the most just phenomenal jaspers. I mean, take a look at the variation that you're getting here. That looks like a planet somewhere else yeah, exactly. in the solar system. Look at that. I wonder what, like a sandstorm on yeah. Mars or something like that happening there. And then you move to the next one, it's completely different. And you move to the next one, almost looks a little bit like Tiger's Eye without the uh, chatoyancy. And then that one looks a little bit like Mookite. They're just, they are fabulous. I like to sort of, uh, to me, it's a very manly strand. Yeah. Not that, you, you know, I can't wear, but for me, this is something I'd use to make cufflinks out of that ah. or um, a man's macrame bracelet. Yes. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, I like that. I love those two together. Could you get away with doing those as a cufflink set? I would say so. I mean, it's the thing with gemstones. You don't expect everything to no. be 100% matched, you know, if it's no. natural. Um, you know, you almost want to have a distinguishing features in each yeah. and every stone. So it's nice when you have that. Yeah, because I think those two are the closest. And they're so unusual. That is stunning. I love those. One of the most affordable ocean jaspers I think I've ever seen. £8.95. You're having a laugh, aren't you? You're having a laugh! There's only 13 of them as well. That's it. Oh my goodness. Look at these ones here. Oh, and that one. I think you're not going to ever get bored of this strand because they're all so different. They're all so varied. Mm, no, no, and the size, I think the, the nice thing about them as well is the size because um, this, I think it's at eight mil, 10, 10 mil. See, okay. they say 10 mil, but when you look at them like this, they do look like an eight mil. Yeah, they a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah no, just bigger than six. I think they're great size to work with. I think they're fantastic for stretches. Yeah. So easy to put together um, and easy to wear, not too big, not too small. Yeah. 10 mil is perfect mm. for that. Gorgeous stone. So earthy. Mm. Very earthy. Yeah, it'd be great for an autumnal piece. Mm. And a price like that, you can get it now. I, I, know, I know we're in the summer and I don't really want to talk about the autumn or the winter, but I will because I do. And I am planning Christmas already, so that we are. Um, we all. At least in our heads. I never get to the shops until actually the 24th or something like yeah. that. You know, if, unless I haven't stashed it away at the beginning of the year, but uh, quite yeah. often it's a mad rush for the last yeah, yeah. bits and bobs. I quite like um, shopping online, mainly here. Yeah, I do that as well. I really should really, you know, try and, and get the Christmas spirit. No, it's fine. You'll get the Christmas spirit closer too. Yeah. I just get it. I get excited about the food planning. And Do you actually yeah, like that? Yeah, that's girl. the bit that I like. And also the fact our family are coming to us this year. Oh, that's nice. Both sides, so mm. it's like... <gasps> <laughs> so just kind just of... uh, feed them ready meals. Yeah. Don't yeah, which I'll, which I'll make meals. now and then freeze. No, you get the ones from Tesco. Or I do... Other, other... other shops are available. Yeah. Yeah, those are yeah. good. Ping! <laughs> C-word. Um, it is, believe it or not, Star Boy time. Can you? Wow. See you later. Bye. Oh, wow. I adore that strand. You know, just have a look at this one strand. Guess what it is? Don't put the, don't put the graphics on just yet. Demanding, aren't I? <sighs> Directing from the floor. Producing from the floor, even. Sapphire? No! Aquamarine. Yes! Oh, my word. 
That is such an amazing toned aquamarine. Look at that. It's Santa Maria Ombra. <sighs> it's, not, it's not quite Ombra because normally Ombra goes from dark to light and this is kind of... They sort of sectioned the yeah. Ombra, didn't they? Yeah. But it is a little bit Ombra in sections. Yeah. That's beautiful. So you could take each section and keep it as is and make drop earrings yeah. with that, isn't it? They are fabulous. So Santa Maria um, is, is a really deep, rich blue for an aquamarine. So when you think of aquamarine, you think more these colours, don't you? Really soft, mm. really light, really subtle. This is Santa Maria aquamarine. I mean, look at the depth so of colour on that. It looks like sapphire. Mm -hmm. It's almost sapphire. Yeah. So. Or like almost, almost, not quite, a London blue topaz. Mm. It's got that kind of feel to it. It is amazing. Um, but you, you do have, in this, because they have gone more for the, the ombre, is they've gone for the lighter colours going through to that. Mm -hmm. That strand on its own is just magical. But you're not just getting that strand on its own. You are also going to get yourself Sleeping Beauty you know, Turquoise. <sighs> It's the smallest gemstone I have ever seen faceted. It's amazing, this isn't actually it? actually faceted. And yeah. the colour is, even at the, such a small scale, is mind-boggling. And it's also from a mine that is no longer producing. Really? So it's this the Sleeping beautiful. Beauty Turquoise from the USA. Beautifully, beautifully micro-faceted. It's two by one millimetres is the size of that. Um, and it's a 30 centimetre strand, so... How do they even facet them? I mean, how do you pick them up and actually facet them? I'm absolutely amazed. With something like that, you're, you're likely to just push it against... How do you even control that? which... I mean, this is just amazing. The skill involved in, in creating this. Oh, my goodness. If you look at how many facets are on there. But that's what I'm saying. How do you even control which See, side think... you're fasting at a time? See, that might end up being a, um, a computer-controlled machine to have done that, so we've got it oh, so okay. precise. Right. There this... is a potential of that. That is absolutely amazing. I can't guarantee it might have been done by hand, but from the look of it, it might, because of the size, it might actually be... Oh, it's just beautiful. ..more mechanised. I think that's from mint to... to... Baby blue to yeah. turquoise. It's almost emeraldy as well, mm. in one corner. And look, we still don't finish there, by the way. We still don't finish there. Because we <coughs> have got two carats of micro-faceted tanzanite as well. Dare I do this? Ta -da! This is a gorgeous bundle. It's such a gorgeous bundle. And, of course, your tanzanite is from one location. It's getting harder and harder to get a hold of it. This is really purple. Mm. Beautifully done, isn't it? How would you use this, then? Would you just pop it in with your macrame or your uh, seed No, or... actually, no, I wouldn't do that with, with those. Um, I probably use it in a one of my higher-end wire wraps mm. um, and use it in a sort of channel set to accent the top of the weave. That oh, makes nice. sense? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm. you want to show them off. I mean, again, with, with those, you have to make sure that they are you know, prone. You can see them. They're stunning. They are really, really pretty. It's almost a cornflower blue that you're getting with these mm. ones. As I said, tanzanite is definitely unique. Yeah. You, you know what it is when you... If you know tanzanite, if you see it, you know... When yeah, you once see you see it, once mm. you know it. And the thing is, because you have the different gradings of colour, don't you? The darker colours and the lighter colours, you still know it's tanzanite. Mm. Gorgeous gemstone. So you're getting all three of those. There are 15 chances remaining. Mm. What can we do price-wise on this? Fifty-four ninety-five. Mm. You're getting your richest Santa Maria. You're getting the impossibly difficult 
just ridiculously difficult get, to get a hold of um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise because, of course, the mine no longer produces. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you've got that one locational gemstone, Tanzanite. It is an ultimate collection. Ultimate collection of blues. Absolutely beautiful. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous bundle. I'm really surprised about the aquamarine. I think the sizes as well of yeah. the rondelles, you know. Um, Size, the colour, the richness of the colour, the quantity that we've got here. I'm just amazed at the colour. Because yeah. I honestly thought you brought out um, a, a big strand of sapphires. Yeah. Oh, the colour of those is gorgeous. That's because we don't normally get the mm. deep rich colours. Mm. There is only eight chances remaining on this, I'm afraid. I do apologise if you are going to be um, unlucky enough and miss out on this. Just make sure you're checking the baskets out as early as you possibly can. You're still paying that one postage and packaging. So if you are looking to add to your order, you don't need to panic about that. Or if you have already opened an order and you're thinking, oh, but I don't want to pay additional postage and packaging, 1 p.m.p. Mm -hmm. till 12 midnight. So check those baskets out, my lovely. Now I'm going to leave four of those with you because we're running very rapidly. I know, I can't, can't can believe it. Know. It's on oh, almost time. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, you got them all. There you go. <gasps> and breathe. Right. What's next, my lovely? Oh, I love these. There is some bad news about these. I'll say it straight away, and that is, there's nowhere near as many as I would have liked because I wanted these to be a um, star buy. Not enough. Not enough. Was the response I got? Not enough. Becky's there going, no, that's not enough. You can't have them. <laughs> um, 20 in a pack. It is your little key charm. And it means so many different things to so many different people. I was about to say, I mean, a key holds a lot of significance for a lot of people. Mm. For me, it's, the, it's freedom. That's true. Mm. It's yeah. about being able to open doors. Mm. So even though one door closes another one will always open. I think it would be great for, in Germany, I don't know what it's like here, to turn 16 yes, or 18 yeah, yeah. as a special age. So I think it would be a nice gift for yeah. something like that. You know, when you turn 21, here's your freedom kind of thing. Yeah, the you key know. to the mm, door, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah, for those significant birthdays. So 16, 18, 21. I, I do have a, I like keys, I like locks, or this is nice as well if you have a heart, it's the key to your heart. Oh, that's nice, like a partner thing, yeah. so you could have, you have the key or and she has the heart yeah. or something like that. Or, yeah. It's really lovely. So whatever it means, whether it's the keys to your first car, it'd be a very small car, um, keys to the house, keys to the door. Oh, it is an idea yeah. if you're buying your first house, for instance. Yeah, exactly. So there's lots of different meanings. Yeah. £2.95 for 20 of them. Here's the key to your first car. And then you have a little <laughs> micro machine. <laughs> Other cars are available. <laughs> oh, see, now I need to do that to my daughter when she's older. There you go. I bought you this car. That's cruel, isn't it, really? Right, I'm going to leave those there with you and squeeze some more in. Now, I've got some. Oh, I love those shapes. Are they round? Are they? They, they are up? round. Yes. They are colour coated, clear colour coated quartz. Does that make any sense? Say that fast. I'm not going to try. Clear, clear colour, colour coated quartz. I'll try that after a few mojitos. Clear colour coated quartz. Let's, let's stop there. Now, I'm just moving it in the light. They look, again, the crystal balls and like little snow-filled landscapes have, yeah. with, the, with the cord through the centre, doesn't it? Yeah, if you look, it is kind of sparkling in a way that does look like there's a snowstorm in it. How amazing. 
amazing are they? Oh. Do you have actually got a, a commission coming up that's calling for clear quartz, exactly just like this one? Ah. I think I may need to get these. I think There's you may need such to. an absolute gorgeous size as well. They are seven mil. Now we don't get seven mil very often, do we? It's no. normally six mil or it's eight mil or, or ten eight. mil. Or four mil. It's normally in the twos, mm. isn't it? Mm. Even numbers. So seven mil. Six yeah. pound ninety five as well. Round about the seven price point as well. They are really quite sweet. And of course, because they'll clear the go with anything. But they are, they're really frosted, aren't they? The inside seems to be like the drill hole. And yeah. that's what I'm saying. It looks like a little snowstorm on the inside. Snow landscape. Yeah, it does. Which I think is quite nice because the way it is, I think if you put a coloured thread through there, it'll show the colour of the cord as well. Yeah, I think it would. Mm. Yeah, because you can actually see the grey mm. of the... Um... Such a sizeable drill hole as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is really substantial. Let me just show you that. You can see that. That's a big hole. Oh, you know what diamond is? Are they coming up? Ah! Mm. <laughs> Black diamond star bar! Diamonds. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. Black diamonds. Double drilled. I've never seen those. They are so stunning. Amazing, amazing. Double drilled. See that there, that design. I love that. They are fabulous in every single way. If you look up close and personal, first of all, I know this is going to sound really silly to say, but they look black. A lot of black diamonds don't. They look more sort of gunmetal grey. Mm. Um, they've got a fabulous surface to them. A lot of black diamonds don't. They tend to have little pit marks in. Quite substantial ones, actually, in some instances. So this is a really lovely quality black diamond. It's one carat over the five gemstones, which again is really nice to see. And it's double drilled. It's double drilled. Set that as a ring. No, it'd be extravagant. Keep them all just all together. like that. Mm -hmm. You'd have to. I mean, the shape's phenomenal. Just mm. to split them up would be a shame. I would. I would like to transfer this into a bracelet in furnace because mm. it. No. Oh. That was a sterling silver chain that we had. Oh, we actually need gold with those. Yeah. Gold chain. Yeah. I mean, these on here. It's almost like French. It is French. French wire, French isn't wire. it? Mm. Yeah, I like that. I like that effect. I would want to do it with chain, though, rather than French wire. You know, give it a bit more fluidity, wouldn't mm. it? That would look quite nice as well. Yeah, absolutely. But the fact they're double drilled as well opens it up to a multitude of opportunities. Mm. If you think about them as earrings. Oh, yeah, you could use the top yeah. and then use the bottom drill hole to suspend things off them. Yeah. Oh, what a pet earring that would be. Mm. If you wanted to, I mean, you could take the end ones as earrings, the smaller ones, and keep the three central ones to do the bracelet if you wanted to. Oh, that is to. an idea. So you still have a sweet. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's it. Black diamond sweet. Hello. Um, I have actually already been informed of where we're going price-wise on this. What do you mean, have... Oh, Becky! Yeah, this is, this no is the price that I was told it was going to go to. Right, OK. 99.95 is not going to be your price today. So this is where Becky was going to originally go. 
She's now, if I ruined a moment, 79.95. just fabulous. Honestly, I thought we were going diamonds. to be having a hundred. I mean, we had a strand mm. of small. Well, same thing, you know. I thought we were going to go in the hundred and fifties, hundred and seventies. Yeah, amazing. The first thing mm. I think of when you see a, a diamond strand like this is around that that hundred. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, I think the initial strands we ever brought were around that. Yeah, one hundred and eighty-five. If I remember correctly, you may be mistaken, but yeah, I mean, I think that's it was one for two fifteen at one point. Yeah, no, it's incredible. It really is. Yeah. So you think about the carrot weight. It is an entire carrot as well, so that is a substantial, a substantial amount of diamonds you're going to hear. It's that luxury. So the big question is, are you going to keep it, or are you going to make it to sell? You're, the look you've just given me then, that is, a, that is not going anywhere, <laughs> that is mine. I think it'd have to be a very, very special person for me to give that to and give it away because I, I just love that shape that's stunning I really want to keep it but it was pretty much the the evil stare of how dare you ask that question <laughs> you mean would you give it away me <laughs> exactly. to be fair yeah 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 don't think uh, this lady's going to be easily parted with the diamonds. But you have got a chance to own it. That it's is 79 if, I get, if, I get one, yeah. if you get one, yeah. Mm. That's very, very true. Now, whether you are going to turn it into a ring, into earrings, or into a bracelet, whether you're going to keep them all together or separate them out, that's entirely up to you. All I can say is don't leave it too late to get a hold of it because it is a fantastic price. You can send it back. If you get it home and decide black diamonds are not for you, maybe you wanted a white diamond or a canary diamond. Don't give me that look again. What do you mean black diamonds are not for me? They are. Um, but the, you can send it back and get a full refund. Just don't damage the strand in any way. Make sure it's in the original condition when you send it back. That's the nice thing. It's a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So if you are thinking about making a purchase because it is, it is a substantial amount when you think about in comparison to something like a, a three pound quartz, of course mm. it's diamond, so it's not, not going to be three pounds, but you have got that chance to get it home, to look at it, to fall in love with it, to make sure it's everything you want it to be, and if it isn't for any reason at all, you are more than welcome to send it back. I love it. I'm just well mesmerised by the shape and the size and the, mm. the just the graduation of the strand. I don't think I've seen a strand like that before, so that reason alone I'd want, and then because of course it's diamonds. Yeah. Who doesn't like to own a diamond? It's a black diamond as well. Mm. It's the rebel of the diamond world. The rebel. Ah. Oh. They are so pretty as well. It's got an exquisite look to it. Now I'm going to leave those there with you. Check out as soon as you can. Shall I leave that with you? Can I have a look? You can, yeah, absolutely. And then Security will be watching. <laughs> um, now I'm going to squeeze one more in. <laughs> Poiple, poiple, poiple. So we have got rounds. They are nice, aren't they? Oh, they're just stunning. I'm just going to have to give them back, otherwise, otherwise they might just go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Security! Um, 85 carats of amethyst. We're looking at plain rondelles. Rondelles. They make me think of juicy grapes. Oh. Sorry. I oh. have to say, that's what they're juicy on the food. grapes fresh out the fridge. Mm. Someone was saying about grapes in the freezer. I know, I eat cherries like that. It's absolutely fabulous. Are they? Yeah. Oh, I need to do that. It's fabulous uh, in yogurt. Really? Yeah, you freeze them. Grapes and cherries, try. It's so good. Yeah, I'm going to give that one a go. Ooh. Oh, getting new ideas all the time. Don't put these in the freezer, though. £7.95 is what you're looking at. Don't do what my daughter did and stick my uh, Rutile quartz in the fridge. Did she actually? Yeah. She's got a thing about carrying... I've got a little collection of tumbled stones, and she loves them. So we've got past the point of her putting them in the mouth to eat. Okay. Thankfully, she's now stopped that. Now it's carrying them around. So I find them around the house. I've got an eye light sitting on my kitchen window at the moment. Okay. Because that's the one she was obsessed with. And then um, two days ago, I found my rutile quartz at the back of the fridge. You're starting her early on yeah. gemstones, don't you? Yeah. It's funny, though. 
Now it is the final hour, which means it's the final kit and the final demo all coming up. It's going to be amazing. So sit back, relax. I know, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Can we, shall we show it? Do you want to, can we just, she's having it, that's it. Um, would you like to show, just a little glimpse? Just a little, little bit of, little, little peek. It's just so beautiful, I can't let it go. Take a look. Look at that. This is coming up in the kit. It is Sunstone, believe it or not, and it's coming up right after this. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. No, no. Hello, welcome back. I've got crab from my tongue. There we are. There we are. Had uh, a little bag of chocolate peanuts there, well, almonds, and uh, tried to eat them too quickly and now have cramp in my tongue, so... Did you get a cramp in your tongue? Mmm, it's a muscle, isn't it? I've never had cramp in my it's tongue. It's so painful. Is it? Yeah. I have never, ever had a cramp you in not? my tongue. No, really? a few times, yeah. 
Well, that's <laughs> talk too much, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculously painful. Ridiculously painful. Really? I never <laughs> it is. Uh, please tell me I'm not the only one that that, that has happened to. Um, yeah, too much talking, clearly. Now, we did give you a sneaky peek. A sneaky, sneaky peek at this particular gemstone, which I questioned mm. because it's just, it's amazing. No, so it did, but yeah, rightly so. So normally there are two that people get confused, sunstone and goldstone. So goldstone is a glass, basically, a man-made glass, which has got copper filings that have been um, embedded into it. And it's normally a very uniform look that you get. And normally lots of the copper inclusions. Now, this is sunstone. When do we get to see this many inclusions like this in sunstone when the gem is still transparent? We don't, do we, normally? The, the only time you tend to get to see the sunstone with this quantity of um, inclusions is when it's like a Sindiga sunstone where it's got the, the complete opaque background and just flecks of golden colour going through it. But this is, it's incredible. To the point where I did question. But it is, it is part of the Felspar family. It is the sunstone. It's stunning. It is stunning. It's genuinely, genuinely stunning. And you will be getting three of them in your pack. You are getting three. Not one, but three. So you're going to be getting... Two of them at 14 by 10 millimetres and one of them at 18 by 13 millimetres. So you've got one big one and two smaller ones. A bit like the oval, the opals yesterday that I lost one of them. Still see it's got, it's pinged back under that desk. Still say that. You think? Never found it. I think it is quite far back. There we are. If we can get like a hoover under there, we'll find it. Then you're also going to be getting your findings pack as well. So you are getting rose gold plated, you're going to have brass and copper, a mixture of the two. So it's rose gold plated. Um, you're getting one metre of the oval link chain, which is four by three millimetres. You shall be getting 20 of the featherweight head pins. You'll be getting 20 of the normal size head pins. I say normal size, just your regular head pins. You'll also be getting 20 of your crimp covers, 20 of your crimp tubes, 20 of your open jump rings, 35 of your round beads, which are two millimeters in size, You'll be getting three pairs of the shepherd. We're still going. We're still going on this. Know, three so pairs of the shepherd hooks. Five of the bolt rings. And you also get a little organza back. So that's 150 pieces of your findings pack and three of your sunstone. Which is That's amazing. a lot. Yeah, it is. And I can always say that, um, especially with copper findings, I go through them like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. I always need more. So, yeah. That's the it's thing. essential. With me as well, working with a lot of chain, I tend to use a lot of head pins, a lot of eye pins. We haven't got any eye pins in here, but I love eye pins. They're love very, them. very useful. Mm, absolutely love them. Crimps as well. Um, the spacer beads are always handy. And clasps. And I do use a lot of these. Clasps, yeah. And our shepherd's hooks, mm. I must say, are amongst the best I've ever seen, mm. honestly. They're very sturdy and they're really always, well yeah, they're great quality. You have got, I mean, when, when you're looking at a pack like this, you, you, it's easy to think, oh, I've got loads, I'm going to use it for a long time to come. And you will if you use it sparingly, but it's so good even if you've got loads in your stash already to add more because you will end up going through it a lot quicker than you expected yeah i know you will but it's great this pack has got everything you need basically it's got the yeah. heavier head pins, yeah, yeah. got the feather lights got all the jump rings you need um yeah it's got everything i get through this stuff like no one's business yeah the chain yeah yeah same yeah, yeah. Especially with tassels and things like mm. that, you can go through a whole meter ridiculously quickly. 
So, we are giving you a 150 piece findings pack and you're going to be getting your three gorgeous, they are incredible, sunstones. What can we do price wise? Look at the quality of them. They were just absolutely gorgeous. Mm, it's amazing, isn't it? Mm. £42.95 for the lot, which is fab. Can we have a look at the jewellery? There it is! It's so pretty. So pretty. It's so special, isn't it? I mean, you can't really, you're looking at the, the stone where it's not moving, but if you're wearing mm. it on your neck and you're moving, you can see all the different, um, what is the word you call for it? Is it chatoyance for these, for what's going through? Um, it'd be more of um, sort of a spangle effect. Spangle effect. Yeah, because yeah. you've got the, 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 well, it's more of an adventure essence. Oh, right. Because uh -huh. you've got the little inclusions. Now, normally it's um, copper or hematite inclusions in a sunstone. All right. Um, it can be in something like uh, an Amazonite, it's more mica. Uh huh. So, sorry, adventure, it tends to be more mica. So interesting. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as I said, if, you, if you're wearing it, you can see all of those effects so much better than in just yeah. a still picture, even you know, under the lights here. So. Yeah, so it's the adventure essence that you're seeing coming through. Okay. It's, it's absolutely fantastic because the way it works inside it, you're getting this almost rainbow effect of colour as well as having that almost... It does look a little bit like a stoyancy because it goes across the surface of the stone. Do you know what it reminds me of? It may be a bit of a the... crude example, but back in the day when I was back a little girl, we used to have little rubber bolts that we used to play with. We used to get oh, okay. them in, out, out of little machines. You'd mm -hmm, put like yeah. 50p or whatever in. And they would have gold flecks floating within them. Oh. Um, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe not too young for that. But, uh, and that's what they remind. The effect is the same. We can look at the ball and the, the, a little piece of gold fleck would would look different. Was it the hard? The it was the hard balls, wasn't it? There was it? just it normal rubber balls that you would be able to play with. Yeah, um, yeah, I do remember those. But they used to fill them with little um, flecks of yeah. foil um, and have these effects in them. And so that's what it reminds me yeah. of. Obviously, much, much. It's so amazing. Now, as you saw on the design there, um, it was macrame. So we have got a second part to the kit which does include the macrame making mm. abilities. Um, so you are getting three reels of your cord. This one's brilliant. It's almost a cornflower blue again, isn't it? So it's your Eslon. This time it's 0 0.9 mil, so a really tough thickness. You've got hyacinth here. It's 32 metres of hyacinth, 32 metres of light gold, and 32 metres of orange. You are then also going to be getting your opaque cobalt seed beads in Ato and, of course, the Miyuki, um, and also your Miyuki silver-lined red-orange seed beads in 6 -o. They're fiery, aren't they? Oh, they are, especially when you put them all together. Mm. They just really pop out. They're almost tribal colours. Yeah, no, they're stunning. Very bold. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Dare I ask which colour you like out of these ones the best? It just depends on the application. They're all stunning in their own right. Um, but being an earthy person, I'd probably go with the orange. Yeah. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, they're really lovely. But I have to say that I like the, the sort of golden yellow with the blue. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that works. I think they all work together, different, don't they? Different combinations mm. work, yeah. I mean, in fact, the bracelet that I've made is a multicolour. For, if you ever look at that, it's a, it's a culmination of everything that we have. So th that's a mix of the whole kit. Yeah. It's very, very carnival, very festival. It is, yeah. I like in that In fact, a lot. If, you buy, if you bought the patchwork bracelet, it's a very similar technique. Um, if, if you bought that, that's the same technique, basically, yeah. so you can use that. So if you haven't already got a hold of that, there are still some of those available. So if you're looking on the app, scroll down, um, or if you're looking on the website, you should be able to find it as well. Now, this part of the kit, you're getting the three Eslon cords, you're getting the two pots of your Miyuki for £16.95. So bold, isn't it? Yeah. The colours. 
So basically to achieve that, you would just, instead of just using one chord while knotting, quickly throwing that in, yeah. you'd use all three at the same time to get oh, okay. the same effect. That's how you get the mottled colour effect. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like a fiesta. It like is. It, yeah. On a samba. Now, what will you be really? demoing for us, darling? I thought I just needed to demo how to bezel this uh, absolutely stunning yeah. sunstone. I do love the so. sunstone. Right. There it is. I'll show you how to make that. Is that easy to do? Yeah, it's fair. it's a little bit fiddly when you get to the closing part, um, mm. but um, it's it's a fairly easy technique to achieve the bezel. So I'm going to bring okay. this across. I'll pick it up. Okay, so I put this here next to me, and you can see when you lay down the stone. I mean, this one in particular is just sorry. Very very amazed by the colour of this. So what we're going to create first is the bezel around. If you have a look here, it's it's bezeled. Mm -hmm. It's got an orange bit, and then what we're going to do, it's a little bit like um, uh, doing netting. Okay. So I've created these little loops around the side here, if you have a look. And what I've done in the end is feed a cord through and then pulled it all tight. Okay. And that netted it in place. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And in the end, the bezel is just made creating um, lark's head knots again. Sorry, okay. yeah, square knots. Sorry, not lark's head knots. Right, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to make. So for this pendant, you are going to need your 0.9 cord, which we've got. You can take the pick um, of the color. I've decided to go with the orange on the outside and the yellow on the inside, just to offset the color a little bit, okay? So all you're going to need is three cords of your 0.9. They don't need to be long. Probably about um, 70 centimeters is enough. So three of them. I'm going to just... Um, Chop these, three, this one's gone a little bit shorter, um, just the same length and that's that's all you need because obviously a very small yeah. bezel so you don't need much more and it's always a waste to, if you can, can you know, make sure, try not to, to waste any bezel. So now, the next step here is, as you can see the stone is quite dainty and to actually use the thicker cord to bezel it in would, would waste a lot of surface area. So mm. what I've done is I've taken um, the yellow cord, all right, and I've cut again another 70 centimeters. And what I've done here to get a finer, you can also use the 0.9 cords of any of the kits we had earlier if you wanted different colorways to go with the stone. So there's a lot you can do. But because I only had the 0.9 available, I wanted to shove the stone. So what I've done here is I've just spliced the cords open and it's a three kind of um, three kind of um, splice so you can just unravel it oh. like that just pull it off and it gives you three individual strands so now it's a little bit kinked so what I normally do is um, I pick it out I roll it around my fingers and I give it a good tug and that straightens it out oh, it does. okay so it does um, a lot of people tend to use um, hair straighteners to warm up the cord, which also works really well, but I think I find it a lot quicker to just tug on it and it straightens everything out. All right. It's a little bit like the embroidery threads where you've got six strands and you can take two off if you want to okay. or when you're doing the cross stitch and things. Okay, I didn't know. I, I haven't tried embroidery since I was in school ah. a long time ago. So. Right, so you've got two of these cords. You're going to pick up two all right, of these very fine cords. Now we're going to also attach them to our macrame board on the top. Um, now I'm going to show you quickly what we're going to make. Okay, so this is what we're going to create. That's the bezel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the center is made up of square knots and the outsides are made up of uh, the fine cords. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up, set this aside for now, and we're going to start by tying, just going to move over a little bit. So we're going to pick up all of the cords and we'll set aside two orange ones like that. What I like to do is when I do square knots like that where the center cords is sitting tight all the time I'm going to use a very small, I'm going to show you here, roll, okay, put that at the end and then tuck the cords around the macrame board just so that you have okay. space 
to work underneath. That's genius. Okay, that helps. It's just I find it easier because it's also much quicker when you're working. Mm. So I'm going to make a square knot just like I did in the in the in the first demo. So it's a four with the cord over, uh, with the left hand cord, and the right hand cord just comes in from the other side, and you pull that tight. That's one half of the knot. So the other side needs to be the opposing mm. section. So it's a D or a reverse four over. And the left hand cord basically comes from under to out through the loop. And then you pull that tight. So that's just one. Okay. So now I'm just going to set aside the two yellows I have. I'm going to keep the orange one tied in. So we're going to use the yellows now. So I'm going to set this aside, fold them up like so. And I'm going to tie two more square knots now around the core that's remaining. So that's one, two. With bigger stones, you can leave bigger gaps. Oops. Um, so I'm only giving two knots because um, it is such a tiny stone. And if you have a look here, if you make the gaps bigger, the gaps between the bridges, if you, want, if you will, mm. uh, are much bigger. Last, last one. So once we have done two knots, we're going to bring in the yellow cord. Okay, so bring it down and tie a lark's head knot. I'm going to show you again how to do this slowly around, set it aside again. So the way you tie a lark's head knot, it's how I showed you earlier mm. <coughs> when you were doing it. So this is your core. I'm going to take the yellow cord and I'm going to create a four. Go over and out towards the left so that you're looping it through. Mm -hmm. And now go under. So first over, then under. So now you're under and you pull it through out towards the left. Set them aside and again start with your two square knots. So you just make sure that the first knot sits tight. All right, so I'm just going to do it. And then you would just repeat what you've done. And you would measure it against the stone. So you would just carry on. This is very repetitive. So you would end up with something like that. Um, yeah, I just see you've got... So I've booklet, got, I've I think. promised you another booklet, didn't I? So um, we have got the petal pendant with this gorgeous woman again. Mm -hmm. Lovely lady herself, which means there must be a picture of you there. There we are. There we are. So it is basically how to make, not Nadia, um, that would be brilliant. I'll make another one. Um, that it's depends this. who you are. Is yeah. like, no, it depends. I'd love to just, just <laughs> recreate another version of you. Brilliant. But we're actually recreating this beautiful petal pendant. How did you come about this design? I've just, as I, I brought a lot of different um, uh, styles. Mm. I actually just turned this one around because it's upside down. Um, turn it around. There's a lot of different styles of this type of pendant. Oh no, now I've turned it the wrong way around. So let me, sorry, I'm just going to go back. I just think it refused to turn around, that's what it is. <sighs> Where am I? There we go. Because it's such a gorgeous jasper stone. There we go. This uh, there particular, is. there we go. This particular pattern is used in so, so many of my designs. Um, and it's so versatile. You can uh, put it around um, rounds. You can use it in funny different shapes like the abalone, uh, not mm. the abalone, but the, um, um, what is that uh, fossil stone called again now? Tell me. Which one are we looking at? Um, oh, the ammonite. The ammonite, thank you. So it works for everything, mm. uh, basically. It's just a guide of how to get you started on, on making this. Oh, yeah. yeah. It does look fab like that, doesn't it? Yeah, there's yeah, many, many different that. ways. So this is basically just teaching you the technique of how to apply this to your own designs. So you can do it with different shapes. Exactly. That's why all these examples are here. They're all made using this very same technique. Just that this particular stone happened to be a, uh, an oblong shape and, right. and irregular. So There we are. Yeah, that's so it. Easy. 
So start to finish, you get to learn how to use that technique um, with this particular designer. You can actually transfer it to other ones as well. Um, and it's £2.95. So again, if you want to learn how to do something like this, we've said already it's great to re-watch the uh, tutorials on YouTube, but also it's sometimes easier and a lot better for some of us to work from instructions like this, whether you're more of a visual person and you like to have pictures there for you to look at, or whether it is that you like to read through to help you with your learning process there as well, because everyone learns differently, don't they? Well, that's the thing, you know, everybody has a different way of, of uh, absorbing things. So yeah. others, it's videos, um, some people it's visual like this, yeah. um, others quite like to have one-on-one -on -one instructions, yeah. you know. Uh, it just depends. So I find it great when I have something in front of me that I can actually refer back to as I work. Yeah. Um, so I think they're great. There we are. So what is the next step um, right. that we're doing the in this? the next step. Okay, so once you have created your bezel, I was actually a bit wrong in the way I started the bezel earlier. I told you to uh, feed the yellow cord through. Now where did I put this other section? It has, it's gone away from me. Oh, here it is. Okay. So... Don't attach the yellow cords first. They're actually you ending up and you're starting up with the yellow cords attached to one of your orange. Right. Like so. Okay. Does that make sense? Sorry, I'm moving it up a bit. There you go. Okay, so it should look like that. So you're starting and ending like that. So before you close your bezel off, okay, you would obviously need to make sure that it fits your stone. So what I normally do is I take the stone that I want to bezel with and I kind of do a test fit to see if it actually goes around. And that's kind of a great fit, mm. like so. Okay, see that? So then from now on you can just carry it. Now this is a little bit fiddly. Um, so I'm going to do is because it fits, I am just going to close it off now. So I know approximately how it fits. Gonna sit it like that. Use a pin to hold it in place. Um, and you have a look here. I'm gonna twist this around, and what I'm going to do is leave these orange working cords aside, okay, and just take these two orange ones and some of the yellow. As I said it's a little bit fiddly at this stage, like so and tuck these into my board and these again become a core. Just make sure that they're actually centered nicely so that they fit together like that. Yeah. We're going to take the remaining yellow cords and we're going to tie square knots. I need to release this. Like so, to keep it in place, okay? So tie it shut. Okay. It may not stay. You're going to maybe have to first create another knot and then tighten the first one again before it will actually stay put. Because there's also tension pulling it apart. Okay. Pull it and then, sorry, pull your finger through and tighten it up. So now it's tied in place. So now, you have a little basket and it fits in. Okay. That fits in perfectly. You measure it beforehand, so obviously don't carry on now if it doesn't fit in. So the next step is, what I'm going to do is, I'm taking just a normal sewing needle and one of the cords that I have uh, threaded earlier, one yep. of those fine ones, I'm just going to go through the back. So you know me, I'd measure it and it'd still not fit. I think, I mean, it took me a while to, to you know, get the feel right. It's like with everything, you get a feel for okay. the medium. So you, you put that on and eventually you realise, oh, okay, that's kind of going to fit. So what I'm going to do next now is those little sections that we earlier created. Yeah. With that is going to use to capture the gems. And so I'm going to oh. go through and just basically, oops, sorry, I'm just going to make this longer. There we go. I'm going to go through. I'm going to weave these and out and in and out in out and in 
and you just go your way around until you get here. So it all looks a little bit, I'm going to pin this down, put my head out of the way. Okay, so now as I said, it's a little bit fiddly still. So you might just have to not worry about the stone shifting for now and you might have to tighten it up later. So all you're going to do now is take this and tighten it up a little bit. Okay, so that, that's enough already. I'm just going to close this off for now. So this mm -hmm. is the back of the stone. Mm. So I'm going to release all of this, turn it over. Okay. So now I've got a little basket. You can see how it, how it looks from the inside. So you've got it like that. And you've got your little basket. It looks like that. So we're going to use that. And you're going to sit your stone into that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put this down and fit your stone in here. So again, you're going to need to take your needle and one of your cords. I'm going to use that. Right, so I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way through. And weave back and forth. And this is a very satisfying technique because the, the fun bit comes at the end when you finally get to pull it all together. Okay. So now you have this threaded in. And I always like to use a needle to hold it in place while I pull. Um, so you've got the two cords, and this is a bit like magic when you do it now. Um, so you're going to pull this shut through and then pull it tight like that. So pull. And then the cord is thin enough so that you can pull it a little bit tighter. And you might have to go back to the reverse and tighten that up a bit as well. Pull it tight um, and this should be pretty secure. Obviously you're going to arrange it later so that it looks a little bit better. You're going to pull this up. Oops. So you're going to pull this up mm -hmm. and use the yellow cords to create so I'm going to set aside some of these orange cords. You can cut some away now. You don't need them all. I'm going to set these aside. You're going to use the remaining cords in the center. Pull these up. And what we're going to do now is create square knots all the way up. So it's coming apart now because I didn't tighten them properly. I said it's a little bit fiddly. If you cut them now, wouldn't they unravel? Are they secure uh, You'd have to... to be careful which ones you'd cut. Right. Um, so obviously if you, if you cut the ones you're working with currently, it would all fall apart. But yeah. for instance, these ones here that are coming out the top, you're not going to use them again. I do tend to leave my cords until I'm finished. Right. Partly because I never know if I want to add something to the design um, or if I'm going to use those cords later because quite often... Um, I'll work and I may not want to use the cords at the time, but I may decide to actually use them mm. later. So I end up with a project that looks like a um, Medusa <laughs> half the time because I've got a lot, lot of cords. Anyway, so you've got the cords you want to remain. Leave the other ones aside and what I'm going to do now is create a row of square knots as the bezel. See, this looks rather untidy. Um, you pay much better attention at home than me. I'm going to go through the bottom, pick it up, and then just keep knotting until you have a nice column of square knots going. And you go all around all of the cords that are coming out the top that you, that you want to keep. The more cords you have, the thicker the bezel is going to be. You just keep going. And what you would do is just put this tight. Obviously, it's, it's very skew because I'm doing it right on air. So what you would do is keep going with this bezel, okay, until you've got a long enough loop that you can loop it around 
Yeah. And then tie square knots around both sides. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Take a square knot and tie, make sure that the knot encompasses both bottom and front. And then simply trim them off um, and, and burn them off with a lighter. Once you singe them, we've got either a thread zapper that we have here or lighter, um, it will not come open and that's mm. it. That's how you do it. Brilliant. Thank you very yeah? much, Mabri. That was brilliant. It's nice to see how it, it can all come together. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's a fantastic technique, so it's a lot of fun, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. There yeah, we are, good. thank you very much for that, and lovely. Now, we've got some time to squeeze some bits in, <gasps> so we're going to bring you a star by. Oh my goodness. Uh, Mermaid design, something to make me think of. Mm -hmm. Or to be under the sea. Mm. We're looking at pearls, but we're not looking at any pearls. We're looking at near round pearls of the most exceptional quality. Just take a look mm. at the amazing nacre on these the orient of this pearl is sublime really sublime so when you're looking at pearl color you're looking for two things you're looking for a base color which if it's Tahitian it's sort of a gray color if it's um, South Sea pearl it's more of a, a golden color fresh water is normally a cream, it could be a peach, it could be a lavender, it could even be a brown. And then you're looking for an additional colour, an overlay colour, which is what you see in the orient of the pearl. And pink is really desirable. Green's a lot less so apparently, but mm. pink's really and look how much pink's coming out. Understanding. It is fabulous, isn't it? Now the seven by six millimeters, they're near round pearls. They're 40 centimetres each, the strands are. Oh, You're is... getting two of them. This kind of pearls are really something I'd wear on my wedding day. Yes. Isn't it? They really are so glorious. They are fabulous and the, how bright they are. I want to say the brightness and I'm just hesitating to say that because you don't think of pearls as being bright. But that's exactly what I thought and I thought, can I say that? Does that sound mm. right for pearls? But yeah, you're right. That's exactly what I thought. I mean, the luster is so mm. much. It is literally just radiating that light off it. It's bouncing it straight off the surface. You're getting these fabulous pink sheens coming through. They are fantastic, fantastic pearls. I mean, if you just restrunt, restrunt. <laughs> what on earth is restrunt? You've invented a new word. I have restrunt the pearls. If you restranded the pearls, restrunt would make it easier, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. Just restrunt them. Um, if you restrand the pearls, just as they are, and made a necklace, how beautiful would that be? Just keep it double row, maybe, as yes. a choker. Yeah, that would just. Oh, you wouldn't want to break them up because it would break up the shine and the, the sort of um, brightness, wouldn't it? Yeah. Although I wouldn't mind making them into bracelets. But not, not as stretchy. I'm thinking they'd have to have silver or they'd have oh, to yeah, have gold. Like, yeah, definitely like one of the clasps we have or maybe a sort of sterling silver charm yes, that we have. Yes. Like maybe the, yeah. yeah, they would be fantastic. I think it would be great as a sort of medieval choker bridal design with one of the um, sterling silver connectors we have in the centre. Yes. Or even with an amethyst. Oh. Do we have? If you're going down that kind of route. Do we have an amethyst? Um, dun 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 dun. We don't have a big chunky one like I'm thinking of, but if you want to see sort of a colourway. Oh, yeah. I look at those. Pretty, aren't they? Mm. Now, it should be £34.95. You're getting two of them. Not today. They're going under £30 for the two. Wow. They are just beautiful. £15 so worth strand, it. isn't mm. it? They're so worth it. 
I mean, funny enough, the other day I was walking past uh, one of the, the bigger sh stores and I was actually looking for pearls like that mm. and they, these were in three figures, pearls like that. This is a thing mm. though, isn't it? I mean, th there's actually some big designs, like designer brands which are coming out just providing pearls. Yeah. And they are, you know, they're reasonable amounts. I say reasonable being, ooh, mm. ooh. Um, but they, they, they are an amazing deal at £15 each. That's basically you making yourself potentially just a necklace if you want just a necklace with one of them. Or you could take some off and make them into earrings. If you wanted to incorporate something like a chain, you could have an entire suite out of this if you want to make it a little bit more modern for £15 for the pearls. Obviously, you've got to pay for the additional any extra bits that you've got like silver mm. or chain or things like that but for 15 pounds that's a necklace you could make yourself you could wear it you could love it you could have all the enjoyment without having to pay an absolute fortune for it and you've got another strand there as well for the other 15 pounds so you could even if you wanted to use one of the strands make something to sell and keep the other for yourself keep the mm. other for yourself there we are now I'm going to bring you something else. Oh, what can I squeeze in? How about some clear quartz? Oh, is that chunky, chunky? Oh yeah, chunky, chunky. And bespoke shapes as well. No, chunky, chunky, funky. Yeah. They are classed as nuggets, apparently. I would class these as bespoke pieces because each one's different. But they're like modern art, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And lapidry, I think we've established lapidry is an extremely skilled talent to have. Um, and these have been faceted based on the stone itself. Rather than going, we're going to do a calibrated size, a calibrated shape, mm. we're going to work with the gemstone instead. And if you went into a jeweller's and you asked for a stone to be cut or recut, it's a substantial amount that you're thinking about to have a stone cut because you don't, you're going to an expert basically. And here, each and every single one of these, different. It's almost like you've had your very own bespoke mm. piece cut for you and you've got it for £7.95. Bananas. It is bananas. You did great. Again, I would, would probably want to um, prong set in a ring or so. Yeah, I was thinking a ring. I was thinking this one, but would that be a bit too big? Nothing can ever be too big. <sighs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Although this one would be interesting as a ring as well, because it's really unusual shape. Yeah, I quite like that. That's very different. That's very designer, isn't it? When you've got mm. a shape like that. I think it's also got a drill hole as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You could make a ring and maybe put, um, I don't know, maybe head pins coming through or eye, eyelets with little dangly mm. things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Little dangly things. That sounds very, very good, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> little, little dangly things. Little dangly things, yeah. We could do like the sleeping turquoise clusters coming oh, out of there or something. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Mm. I was thinking about why going through the centre and then, you know, the rose designs that you can do, the yeah, wire yeah, yeah. roses, mm. just have one of those sitting on the top. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be pretty. Because mm. then it would hide the drill hole as well. That's true. And you could glue that onto a, a shank. <laughs> Love it. Mm. Love it. Right. Do, 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 do. It's another chunky one, isn't it? It is chunky. Chunky. 100 carats of pink amethyst, graduated faceted rondelles, 5 by 3 to 10 by 6 millimetres. They are chunky. Chunky. Chunky, chunky. Yeah. 18 centimetre strand as well. I don't know what I'd do with these. I want to make rings out of them. That one on its own. The centre one, mm. yeah. I think, again, um, I would be quite tempted to use some of our sterling silver uh, bead caps. Ooh. 
uh, and maybe capture each bead individually mm. with bead caps um, and make a necklace out of that. That'd be nice. Yeah. Mm. That would yeah. be nice. £12.95 for the strand, which when you think about how big they are, and they are substantial, mm. that's fab. That is fab. I think that's it's a really good price. bracelet. Mm. Okay, if you wanted to, you could just put it on a stretchy, but I think they really they deserve to be yeah. with something more than that. Well, the size that they are, I'm looking at mm. them thinking they're very similar to the size of a well-known charm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm. Um, and I'm wondering how to... Because, obviously, the drill hole's nowhere near the size of what you'd expect for that particular mm. brand, but how would, you, how would you wear it? Because it would look so nice as a bracelet. It would. Um, again, you would obviously want to separate the stones out, personally anyway. Yes, so yeah, yeah. I would um, probably create it using wire. Mm. That's possible. You could rosary link it. Mm. Uh, that'd be a possibility. Um, else you could use beading thread and maybe use uh, nuggets to form little uh, frames around each stone. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, I like it. See, this is one of those graduations that I wouldn't be afraid of having because I would want to have lots of little ones. Mm. It's not just that I want to restrand it. Yeah, you could use the little ones for your earring pieces. Oh, that'd be fab. Mm. They'd be quite nice, actually, to have them cascading in size, just three of them. Oh, and then a longer one, slightly bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. Oh, they're lovely. Love them. I like the faceting as well. I was, I was a fan of fasting. I never used to like it in the beginning. I used to like smooth gemstones, okay. but more and more I'm becoming a fan of fasting just because it shows colour and light and, and brightness. I really like it. There's been a lot, of, a lot of time spent for people learning how to make the most of the gemstone mm. as well. And I think when you get a good quality cut, and this really does show the good quality cut, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Twelve pounds ninety-five is a brilliant price. Oh, love it. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Ooh! What you got at home? Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Graduated faceted rondelles, size wise 2 by one to 3 by 2 millimetres and it is a 28 centimetre strand that we're looking at here. Almost looks micro faceted, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Really pretty. I'm looking at your designs and I'm thinking it looked really nice. Really nice around that um, sunstone. It would, yeah. Perfect size, I think. Mm. Yeah, I do like that. Or oh, simple stretchy. I say stretchy. Well, to be fair, I'd actually like a clasp on that. Under yeah. five pounds. Bargain. Earrings again. They'd make really nice earrings. Yeah, I just again, I mean, faceting for me, small stones like that have got so much character, work well as um, accent stones between bigger, for instance, pearls. Yes. I, again, I went back to pearls because uh, garnet and pearls work so well for me yeah. together. Probably, I, like those gorgeous pearls we had earlier, I would use those as scattered accent stones in between the neck piece, for instance, just yeah. to give you a bit of a touch of colour if you, if you, you know, like a little bit... Um, more colour in your necklace, so for me those would be great. Would you that. just put one in between or would you do like a row of three or something? I think it just depends on the design that I'm after um, mm. and how, how the necklace would feel in, with different variations of that. But I think probably just um, three pearls and then one garnet, three yeah. pearls and just a touch of colour. Oh, I see, mm. so not in between every mm. single one. Just a yeah, touch yeah. of colour yeah. to, to keep the, the pearls because they were so beautiful. Yes. You just want to break them up too much. Yeah. They were fab. Mm. Also looks really nice with gold, this particular colour. It does, because it's so warm, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's fab. Absolutely fab. Under five pounds. Add it to your order. Um, sorry, what was the next one? Ooh! Oh, I don't... Oh, 
I was about to say I don't have that. That's because I put it in the wrong box. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's the one we had earlier. Yeah, this is the one we had uh, earlier that I just popped into an empty container and just went, no, it's not there. So it is bicoloured amethyst, plain rounds, four mils. Beautiful size. Beautiful size, beautiful colour combination, deep richness of colour and tone. Love the lighter tones there as well. It is fab. Mm. And I said I put the, the four mils I use a lot when I do wire weaving as scattered accents in the yes. sort of very tightly woven um, neck pieces. I quite like to use scattered um, accent beads for, for colour and uh, just a little bit of variation. So they're great for that. I'm liking a stretchy. Well, that's me. See, this is it. Simple, simple, mm. simple. I like the simple designs because I can do them. You can do anything you like. I can, but it doesn't necessarily turn out too well. <laughs> try again you need to next see time. some of the designs that I've done. Oh my dear. I know, but if oh you try again dear. next time, it'll be a little bit better than the last one. Well, there's some. My, my mum normally ends up with my designs. Aww. And the last time, I made her a 40th um, wedding anniversary gift, which was a ruby which I attempted to wire at the top. Okay. The response was not as I hoped. She still loves it. She just went, oh, thanks. <laughs> Looked at it and went, I'm like, Argh. She clearly doesn't like it. She wore it, though. She's worn it. Of course, yeah. yeah she's worn wear it. it. She's worn it. Just try again. The next one will be even better. You'll see. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it will. It will. Do you need to redo her um, pearl bracelet? I made it too small. Okay, we can just reopen it and yeah. make it bigger. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add some more. Add some more. And um, these, you're getting them for six pounds ninety-five. They would look fab as a stretchy. Yeah, I think so. I quite like the way they sort of cut off the graduation again, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, because you've got those sections, the, the sort of small sections of ombre. Yeah, it kind of saved me because if I had a strand, I would be mixed up. I wouldn't really automatically want to separate out the colours. Yeah. So I'd say he's been doing that. Yeah, and no, I think it's great. Yeah, that's really nice. This little section here may be on a uh, popcorn chain. Oh, yeah, OK. Just as you mean, as a very simple bracelet. Yeah. Mm, that would work well. I quite like them to uh, have them in hair pieces um, mm. on an Alice band. I think last... Last time I was here, I did an Alice band. I had little flowers um, scattered across. I'm just thinking you could do the same with little rounds of different coloured gemstones. Yeah. This would be perfect for that. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. Now, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. I had to say it several times because there are seven different colours. Several different colours there. Because it is a strand of beryl. Mm. So, so to say subtle hello. and yeah. gentle colours. That's what I like about beryl, particularly the beryl that we choose. It is different colours that have the same tone. Mm. And now we know exactly what mm. you mean. They're just gentle. Yeah, they all work together beautifully. So even mixed up like this, it's baby pinks, baby blues, baby yellows. They're just soft and luscious. Oh, yeah, stunning. And light in every way. They are fabulous. No, they're absolutely stunning. I mean, I would be tempted again to, to kind of mix out, to, to pick out the different colours and, and um, separate out the pinks from the greens. And I would just very, very tempted to do that. £11.95. That is an amazing, amazing price point. No, that's stunning. I absolutely love them. I think in the size anyway, it's absolutely fantastic to work with. Again, they are great for macrame, um, absolutely amazing for um, just very simple bracelets or drops or accent beads and uh, just lovely colour. Love them. They're gorgeous. They really are. Absolutely aren't. Those kind of prices as well. They're fantastic. Oh, 
<laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. So, how about popping these with maybe the amethyst? Have a think... really sharp purple to go with it. Yeah, you could. I think they work really well for a neck piece. If you have a stunning pendant that you want to use, mm. if you use, you want to obviously show off the colour, so you would restrand them or um, rosary link them as a neck piece and hang your pendant off it. That would work really, really well on their own. Or again, with the bead caps, we quite often have bead caps, uh, sterling silver ones, different sizes, that would look absolutely gorgeous with those. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it really would. It really, really would. I think earlier in the morning show, we um, we had Morganite. What did we have? To, did we have to? I can't even remember because I was here in the morning. We had Morganite, mm. didn't we? Yes. Was it with you? They would go so well with that. Yeah. Yeah. We, oh yeah, there were rondelles. Were there Morganite we, rondelles? We had. Um, yeah. Was this yesterday? No, today on the show we had. There must have been in the morning oh, show where we yeah, had no, Morgan there wasn't, wasn't Yeah, many. it was absolutely beautiful. It must have been in the morning, and I think those would go absolutely beautiful with those. Mm. Last night I had um, I had Morganite sort of um, almost rice beads. Oh yeah, eat really elongated. Yeah, they were beautiful. Beautiful tone with yeah. that. So no, they lovely. Would go with this. Love those. They would indeed. I think I always used to see a design where you would. Um, Kind of wire wrap around them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, there's, there are slight pauses from me at the moment because there is a sound coming from the area where the the fly light is. That sounds like a very angry hornet might have got into it. But it's in it. Did one come out? It did last time. time. It, it went in. It got angry and came out. <laughs> <laughs> so if I run off screaming, just warning you, if I do run off screaming, really sorry, but I am petrified of them. Um, 20 carats of your plain rounds of your peridot. And you can't call them plain rounds, can you, really, when no, you've got them like this? They're just not faster, that's, it. that's all. Yeah. But they are stunning. Smooth mm. rounds is what they should be called. Um, it's 38 centimetre strand that we're looking at. I might run off and scream. <laughs> just putting it out there. Okay, um, you might have me having to do presenting. Yep, that That's will not work. possibly happen. Um, <laughs> under five work. pounds is what you're looking at here. It's brilliant. We've got a studio full of people all looking to try and find if there is actually a hornet in that light. It'll be fine. Can you actually hear the, the buzzing? Yeah, I can, but it's probably just having a party in there. It sounds yeah. like it's having a great time. Might just be a big fly. If it is surviving that light, it's got to be bigger than a fly. Oh well. It's all good. It's all good. Hopefully, we'll get to the end of the show without me screaming and running. <laughs> there is no, no Linda. Right. Hopefully, it won't come out. Um, but four pounds ninety-five. Four pounds ninety-five. See, this is the sort of thing I would actually team with the amethyst. Yes. Now that, that uh, I think back of them because they are the perfect size to team in between. I love those. Or actually in the macrama design I did earlier, I wonder if the drill hole is big enough to patchwork bracelet, for instance. That would work really nicely. I'm also thinking of the um, barrel that we've just seen. It would look quite nice with the barrel. Yeah, no, it would. Absolutely gorgeous. Love those. What else do we have would go well? The pearls. Oh, yeah, yeah. the pearls. I think anything mm. goes with pearls, though, doesn't it? I know, pearls that's just the thing. Perfect. perfect backdrop. Or maybe the tiny, fasted spinel rondelles we had, yes. tanzanite rondelles, everything small that you could yes. put, make a really, really dainty neck piece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, now, so we have time to squeeze another one. Is that it? Oh, that's it. That Can I just quick. say. It has been amazing to work with you. I'm really sorry for running off and scream because no, it's still be making fine. a funny noise in the corner. No, it's um, fantastic. I had such a great time today. So. No, it has been mm. fab. It's been. We need to do it again soon. Yeah, no, definitely. It was when lovely are you to back? meet you. Um, I am back on the twenty. I'm, I'm going to be live. Twenty exact, something. Twenty something of July. Brilliant. No, June. 
July. No, we're in July now. It's July. June's so, gone. So it is July. I know. I'm going backwards. Going backwards. June's gone. <laughs> we could have June again. June's gone though. Um, no. So 25th, do you say? 25th, I think. 23rd, 25th. I'm not sure. Round about there. Somewhere of July, yeah. um, around the 20th. Yeah. Um, now. If you are checking those baskets out, make sure you do so before midnight. If you're watching the repeats, you've got till midnight for that 1p and p. So thank you very much for joining us today. Hopefully it won't come back out and scare me because it wouldn't be good. But it's been a pleasure. Hopefully I'll see you very, very soon. Love to you. And Love to you. Good night. Bye. Bye from Jewelry Maker. Couldn't be easy. description with all of the key information then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer everyone pays the final on-screen price so when you see an item that you would like to buy simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK based call center alternatively you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today jury maker the one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs.